We are live. Let's get this party started. What's going on, everybody? We're almost at the end of some Chrono Trigger right here. We have another trip through the Black Omen we can do, but first and foremost, we have to get Chrono 11 cats for his home. So we'll, uh, we have about, I think, seven cats currently. How you doing, Saint? Thank you for the like. Thank you for the lard. Jay, thank you for remembering the lard and the Chrono emoji. Paxton, thank you for the lard mega butt chocobo emoji. Wafflet, how you doing, Ninja Ninja? Thank you for the Chrono, don't forget the lard speedy haha -ha emoji. Yeah, cats omen. Gage Wolf, how you doing? Anthony Jordan, yeah, Lavos. How you doing, Kaizo Serious? Chrono time. Fight for cats a lot. So, in case you missed it last time, oh yeah, I didn't even show the cats that we currently recruited into our party. And by party, I mean Chrono's house. So right here, it's normal with two cats, because you can get that if you do the 80-point game in Norstein Beckler's house. Uh, but if you keep doing it, you can get even more cats. So as you can see, right now we have seven, as well as 102 ounces of cat food. You get about 25 ounces of cat food per go-around with the 80-point game. Uh, so this is going to take a while still, because it's around 200 ounces per new cat at a certain point. A point that I assume we have crossed currently. But if you enter or exit the Millennial Fair, like through the normal entrance, it resets the cat counter. But if you sneak in uh, through the time gate, you don't have to worry about that. So that's what we're doing here now. How you doing, Zombie Kitty? Thank you for the lard. Remember it? I think it's right here. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna beat up Gato for like probably another two hours at least. We have a ways to go yet. I think we have to do that mini game. Oh geez, thirty more, <laughs> thirty more times. Could it possibly be that many more times? Well, twelve should get us two more cats. If we're at seven, well, if we're at seven, that means four more. And if we're, like, halfway to that, so 24, probably maybe, yeah. Somewhere between 24, 27 passes with the minigame. You know, nothing big. Zayat, how you doing? Yeah, cat's emergency food. Hey, thank you, Zaya. Got the beard out in full force, as well as my hair. Yeah, for the cats, love it. Oh, yeah. But yeah, as far as I know in the game, it doesn't really do anything special other than you can do it, so we're going to. It's easy enough to not realize you can even recruit a second cat, let alone multiple cats. Like, you might even figure out you can get a third cat, but like 11? That's insanity. So right now we have the battle speed up to fastest, and we have the Berserker on Chrono to make these battles go by as quickly as possible. This is a very time-consuming endeavor if you want to do it. it. It will take you hours if you want to do this in your playthrough. Get 11 cats. Kin folk, how you doing? America man, what's happening? So yeah, we're gonna beat just the ever-loving crap out of this robot. Because as far as I can tell, this is the fastest way to get silver points. You can maybe do some turbo state shenanigans, turbo button shenanigans with the beverage drinking competition for five points. But I really wish, like, if you didn't... <clears throat> Either if you brought Luca here or something, or if she just would routinely fix up this robot on her own. And have it offer you more silver points. Like, if you could get 200 silver points per go-around with us, it would make the cat collecting quest, like, way more feasible in a run. Like, even if you kind of piece me, <clears throat> excuse me, during your run, it's gonna take forever. I mean, even if you wait until Gato takes one hit still. Yeah, it makes the ending a little funnier. I do need to still count how many spare cats there are in the game. Like, cats that just are in the game that aren't in Chrono's house. I speculate there's 11. But I never remember to count. Going on, Scott Rush. Yeah, hey -o. oh. Yeah, I didn't know about this really until you said something. It's an easy thing to miss. Because <clears throat> you really have to go out of your way to do it. But these, these are our stats for around level, yeah, around level 60. 
We have another trip through the Black Omen to take. We have to remember to take Magus to the boss fight, though. I still want to level up Frog. I don't know if leveling up Ayla's... Like, if I even want to pretend I'm going to fight new Specchio. Like, I don't know how... How wise it would be to bring Ayla all the way to that fight. Since so you couldn't even really damage new Specchio. That's if you get the max level. Level star star. But I mean, everyone in the... The party, I believe, does still collect 50% level. Yeah, everyone's at least level 51. Even Marl, who I had been using a lot in this journey, everyone's now evened out at 51. So I won't worry about that too much. The Llama, how you doing? So surely that's 80 silver points by now. I think... <clears throat> I don't know if I'm getting it confused with gold points and the gold saucer, or battle points more specifically, but I keep thinking if you leave this area, you don't have any more silver points. Let's talk to the silver points, man, and see how many we have. What's going on, the whip snap? Ooh, working on modding your 3DS right now. It's going, going all right so far. Trying to get even more cats for Chrono's house. Yeah, 11. 11-0. We'll just go back here again, talk to King <coughs> talk to King Zeal. Doing alright, Wafflet. Hope you're holding up. So yeah, I don't know how long this will all take. If it ends up being like relatively quick, I might do a few new game plus endings. Or at least the dev team one or something. We'll see. We'll see how long this I really don't know how long this is all gonna take. Might still be a minute. What's going on, Lean Phoenix? <clears throat> so there, now we just gotta beat up... So there, that's another, like, 25-ish ounces of cat food. So let's beat up the robot another six more times or so, and... Do that another 20-ish times. If my math is correct. And we'll have every cat. Ooh, I already have five cats. You're well on your way. I mean, that is a lot of work. I bet you'd want some, you know, some room to operate with five cats. <laughs> what? Playing Pokemon with cats? Yeah. Is the stream I didn't know I needed. Yeah, Paxton, we're going for the 11 cats ending. Hey, Tornado Garden, thank you. Spamming the like button, appreciate it. Keep on living the dream, sir. I'll do my best. Keep on dreaming over here. Yeah, interesting where the cat came from originally, yeah. Chrono's cat already, Alphador, Sewer Cat, Zeal Cat. Yeah, I don't know them all. There's that one cat that defeats Ozzy in Ozzy's Fortress. And like the little girl's cat for the trial. I don't know how many there are. Wouldn't surprise me if there's 11. I need to pay attention, but I always forget. How you doing, K-Lol? Kylie, how are you? Welcome back. <clears throat> I'm assuming there's one somewhere in, well, if I forget if it was prehistory or like the 600 AD uh, Tyranno Lair, but one of those, when you if you hit a switch to open a hole, a cat will fall down. I forget if it happens in which one it happens in, if not both. I think it's just one. <clears throat> and there's probably just some random NPC houses that have cats in them. Yeah, other four. Not, uh... Not sure. Like, I don't know if there was another one in 12,000 BC just around. I don't remember. Like, not Alphador. The little girl's cat counts since we've never seen... Well, yeah. Since we've never seen a portal split someone back out at the same time. I mean, maybe it wouldn't. <clears throat> but I don't know. Depends how many cats are around. 
there's 11 in different time periods, I think that would be even more evidence. How you doing, Master Chef? Zan, what are you- how you doing? Yeah, it feels like just yesterday. Yeah, raging at the controls for Magitech armor and FF14. Yeah, for 14k special. Yeah, it really wasn't- wouldn't have been that long ago. But yeah, now we're at 21k. <clears throat> Muscling up there. Somehow, someway. Now I'm having a hard time justifying celebrating, like, every- every accumulation of a thousand, it's like... It's almost too much to even, like, do proper celebrations for. At this pace. I mean, 24,000, we're gonna do a 24-hour stream. And I'm sure 30k, I'll do something. Something or other. DB, how you doing? Yeah, best game. Certainly one of my, uh, certainly one of my favorites. Yeah, learned something new, yeah, again, in this 30 year plus, yeah. Oh yeah, this game is another one of those, it's really deep with situational dialogue and events. I mean, with time travel shen- oh, excuse me. With time travel shenanigans, it's hard to find everything, so it's easy to- have all the secret stuff just tucked away everywhere. 150 silver points, oh my heavens. We may as well fight him one more time and then just do the game twice in a row. Since we're right here. Hobnobs, never had those. Four in this game, man. Yeah, I would have been... 10. Remember this game captivating me like very few other games ever did. I was like totally sucked in. There. He lost and I have won. Here's 15 points. That wasn't that fun. It came out in 95 in the States. I don't know if it came out in 94, like in Japan or not. Alex Snow, how you doing? Yeah, 28k celebration. I'll figure something out. I'll have to ask some events for a 24-hour stream. Do some multiplayer stuff. Yeah, no worries, guys. I'm serious. I'm getting up there. I don't know what happens. I keep living. Stuff keeps getting older and longer ago. I feel the same. We did it. Oh yeah, big time Alex though. We <clears throat> It showed on the user side that there was like over 400 last night at one point. But like on the YouTube back end it was like 390 something. So yeah, these uh vertical streams are wild. Yeah, getting sucked in. Oh yeah. Hey, thanks DB. Got my chrono hair. Letting my chrono hair out. Come back soon. Need carbonation really bad. No worries, guys, I'm serious. Get it in you. Hey, thanks, Waffler. Yeah, you never grow up, you just grow old, exactly. That's the way I like it. There, double the cat food. So we should have... <clears throat> I'm trying to do cat food now. So we should have... We did that game, what, three times now? Total, I think so. So one more should give us, <clears throat> excuse me, an eighth cat. Assuming this 25 average is, I think it, it can fluctuate anywhere from like 23 to like 27 or so. I forget exactly. Yeah, I'll be here for a while, that's for sure. What's going on, Joe Danena? I thought it was Goku's here. Well, like the same artist that did Dragon Ball also did the artwork for this game. So there will be some similarities. Oh yeah, that game rant. Yeah, April Fools for Chrono Trigger. Yeah, author N. Steen Beckler saying that there will be a Chrono Trigger remaster. You know, in next year, and the article was written in twenty three hundred A.D. It's a fairly optimistic uh, timetable, if you ask me. Hey, yeah, thanks, Alex. Though, yeah, entering a dual digit subs counter. Yeah, twenty one k. 
Yeah, it's crazy. Like, the 20 to 30k range is kind of... I always kind of thought that that was going to be outside of my... You know, me ever getting to it, but... Here we are. At least at the 20. How you doing, El Elvis Pressplay? Roxo? What's happening? Uh, don't do that, please. Cats will watch me and hear me out for a few. Good. Ugly Douglas 20k, how you doing? There. Yeah, I hope all is well. But yeah, this will still take a few hours. This might be about a just perfectly length stream. I would rather not start doing New Game Plus stuff if I can help it, but we'll see how the how it goes. If we get done kind of early. I don't think we will. This will probably take at least two hours. Like, bare minimum. Then however long it'll take to do the Black Omen for a third time. That's probably about an hour, because we beat all the bosses and stuff already. Yeah, Lean, it was more like the Akira Toriyama did the artwork for this and Dragon Ball, so yeah, he just... His art style was pretty... Pretty consistent among all the different IPs he ever worked on. Yeah, murder-free music, how you doing? Yeah. Did the art for Chrono Trigger. Got new glasses and off-brand AirPods. Oh, only 20 bucks, nice. And somehow better. Hey, win-win. Oh, shit, Elvis. Had a slip and fall in my backyard. I was very sure. Ugh, shattered your hip. Jesus, dude. Like, I, I know you've been having, like, some trouble. Like, I imagine that... Obviously, that isn't helping, but... Hopefully, they can do something for you with that. That's wretched. You can help to beat Richard Rose and Sunset Riders. I mean, outside of uh, what I detailed in the video that I just did. Not really sure, like, how it's just kind of practice with the uh, positioning. The main thing is to jump up and down from the balcony repeatedly. So, yeah, it's a lot harder to get hit that way. <clears throat> but, yeah, how many more uh, Kakarot DLCs are we due for? One or two, probably. Yeah, I, like, just did one waffle uh, two days ago. So my Sunset Riders uh, shorts compilation is complete. Oh, that's good. Your dog was with you, at least. She got help as soon as, like, as you went. Okay, good. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, as soon as, as you couldn't get up, right. No, that's good that your, your pup was there for you. See, I can understand why you're not feeling so hot. Like, good lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. After this mini game, it should be eight cats. Which means three more cats. Which means 24 or so more mini games of this. Maybe it's 200 for the very last one. I'm not sure. I guess I could. We can sneak out the back and take a look here. Because if it hasn't gotten to 200 yet, and that's just the last one, it won't take as long. Hey, Hustus, how you doing? Yeah, main thing to remember when doing this, do not go out through the front. Take the back. Or else it'll refresh your cat food, and you don't want that, probably. Yeah, I don't know. The shorts viewer thing is all over the place. Doing all right, Hustus. To grab the old epoch. What's the up to me is when I want to pro start the process. Okay, gotcha. Getting both hips replaced and possibly. Oh, you're right, knee. 
Well, I mean, at least that's, uh, that's gotta be some, uh, solace, knowing that, like, whenever you're ready for it, you can... Hopefully put that, uh, behind you. Various magic. Yeah, I'm trying to get cat food so I can get 11 cats in the game. Right now we have seven. I think we just got our eighth one. So I'm just, I'm gonna check up on them now. Is Speedy the 12th cat? I think so. If not the very first one. There we go. Our third kitty. Now there's three kitties downstairs. As well as still five kitties up here. So we got eight cats. Oh, 125 ounce. Okay, we're, uh... We're doing just great, though. Lovely. Moving right along. Do I hold the record for chugging a gallon of natural honey in one min minute? No, I'm, I'm unfortunately only in third place. I'm higher up on the totem pole of maple syrup chugging, however. Yeah. Mobile suit Gundam. Should come with a warning. Contains MSG. hey -o. That almost works with Metal Gear Solid, but there's Metal... Solid Gear. Oh yeah, Joe, this game is definitely gorgeous for its time. Oh, looking for another PS5 JRPG. Oh, hard mode, yeah. Our hard mode's pissing me off. Does it... Does it also not let you use items this time? Yeah, it's a Canadian Rite of Passage Harp. Yeah, nothing special, honestly. What's going on, Rage? We are collecting some cats. So I'm gonna get another... Okay, I'm gonna do that minigame three more times and then check back on the cats again. Because that should mean that there would at least be nine. Maybe we're hurtling for hurtling towards it a lot faster than I thought. Because last night it didn't seem like or the last night this was played anyways, it didn't seem like it was coming together very quickly, but now maybe I actually do need to check on it more. Thought you could just do it more or less uninterrupted here, but maybe you do have to look every so often. There we go. Alright, Ugly Douglas 20k. Catch you later. Yeah, this is the SNES version, Rage. No items and rest stop ends. Oh. Don't restore MP. I hate that. The not letting you use item thing, like, really annoys me. I would rather it doesn't let you spend gold. But, like, if you had it from, like, your previous playthrough, like, you don't earn gold, rather, but, like, if you had a bunch of gold hoarded from the previous playthrough, you can have, I don't know. Not allowing you to use items just seems cheap. Just make the game harder according to if they have items. I don't know. Still a bit shocked that I was scaling trees. Oh, and rock climbing. <laughs> yeah, that is wild. Without knowing my bones are basically styrofoam. Yeah, good lord. You're... Yeah, lucky that nothing worse ever happened. Oh, yeah, and I definitely... I was gonna do that, too. Let's do that also, I forgot. Get clones for all our party members, as well as get them dolls for their houses. That won't take, like, as long. Why don't I earn my silver points doing the soda guzzling contest? This is faster. This is the only reason. Now, if I set up some sort of turbo controller tomfoolery and went to the bathroom, then... It'd be a little self-sustaining. How many silver points are we at? 105. So we're gonna do three more of these cat games here and... Check progress once more. Yeah, Violet Ninja, yeah, and also not pressing A as much. And, yeah, my thumb will die before getting it up. I'm just playing on emulator right now, but it's the Super Nintendo version. Playing on the, the Messin S emulator. Oh, 
But yeah, to get the cat food in this game, you just go to do that. You don't even really need to hit that to get her to go back up. It'd probably be faster if I didn't. But I don't want to risk her falling into the fire anyway. Because I would do the... Hey, Docrates, how have you been? It's going all right. Yeah, Harv has a robotic thumb. I was a bit of a button masher in my day, I'll say that. <clears throat> my poor old muscles do get tired now, though, and I don't like it. Oh, nice. Brand new PS5 arrived a day early. Good stuff. Did you get any games, like, bundled with it, or... Working on that now. Is that 105, so... 25, 40. Two more of these. For another game. If my math is correct. May as well do three. Yeah, and unfortunately you can't just... <clears throat> you can only hold, like, maximum 200 silver points at a time. Which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. Been good, busy. Ah, right on. Busy with kids' work and travel. Hope your life's going well, too. Hey, no complaints here. Happy with how the YouTube is going at the moment, so... I'm operating baseline okay. Do another one for good measure in case my math is off. Yeah, I thought about finishing this off last night, but I'm like, nah, that's gonna take forever. It was already like, I forget if it was five or six in the morning. I don't usually like to stream much later than that. That's kind of pushing it even still. I want to be up until like 9. Yeah, 85. Yeah, my math was off. Oh, Spider-Man 2. Okay. Added a few PS5 titles using the PS Plus app. Good stuff. So I knew I would want them eventually. I haven't played a Spider-Man game and so... I loved Spider-Man 2 on like the GameCube, PS2, whatever. I haven't played... <coughs> excuse me, I haven't played any of the new ones. I'm sure I'd enjoy them. I wasn't like a super huge superhero guy growing up, but I did like uh, Spider-Man and Batman. Hey, how you doing, Gob? There, then we get one more cat food. Check on the cats again. By my math, we should have at least nine. But yeah, then we can get clones for everybody and get their dolls. The ones that play music, visit all of that too, while we're here. That won't take anywhere near as long. 40 points game and the 10 points game. It's my fav favorite dungeon in this game. Maybe the Undersea Palace. Do I play horror games? Not really, like, I'll play stuff like Resident Evil, but I don't do a lot of horror, really. Hey, Marilyn Maiden, welcome back. I'm really impressed with these new ones. Yeah, they're a bit story-heavy. Okay, with cutscenes, but the acting is good. Alright. I mean, that helps a lot. It's one thing if it's, like, totally, totally cornball. Eating Mouse, how you doing? In a hundred years, that's a lot of years. Yeah, Jay, yeah, Resident Evil's a good time. I've been playing the, you know, t Resident Evil 2 Remake, 3 Remake, 4 Remake. I've enjoyed the remakes. I actually liked 3 a lot. But, like, I wasn't super attached to 3 growing up, so... The fact that 75% of the game isn't in Resident Evil 3 Remake... Remake doesn't, like, affect me the same way. 
But yeah, this game's called Chrono Trigger Eating Mouse. Came out on Super Nintendo back in 1995. But yeah, and then there's supposed we're supposed to be getting a Silent Hill 2 remaster, I guess. I am halfway interested in that. Yeah, OGs oh have a special place in my heart. I always go back to them. Probably in October, I'll revisit, like, 1, 2, and 3. The original one. I'm due to play a, an actual... Like, actually play through Resident Evil 2. I only ever did Leon A. I've never actually beat the whole game. Even though I really like Resident Evil 2, and that's, like... I would say that was my favorite for the longest time. So I should probably finally do that. If I'm feeling frisky, play Code Veronica X while I'm at it. I'd like to see that get remade. Well, I mean, I'd rather Zero get remade. I think it needs a remake more. Uh, but then Code Veronica. Oh, ten bucks. That's not horrible. Upgrade from PS4 version of Last of Us 2 to the remastered PS5 version. You probably get another set of trophies, too, if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, Leon... Al... I really enjoyed Resident Evil 4 Remake. Yeah, I could play the original 4 as well. Yeah, Darren H, they should remake Parasite Eve. I am completely behind that. Give us a Final Fantasy 7 style remake, or hell, even, you know, Resident Evil 2 style remake of Parasite Eve. I'd be... I'd be happy with that. How many was that? <clears throat> was it enough? Who played Dragon Quest VIII? Nice. I'm grinding Chrono Trigger for a... Ooh, 99 team. That's gonna take a while. I could never have the attention span... Uh, to get to, like, max level in this game. By the time I get all the endings, I'm like, I'm good. I don't need to grind 30 more levels. Although I should. At some point. Yeah, follow me. Wait. Follow me. Wait. Okay, yeah, it did just so happen. Okay, to get the platinum last time. Gotcha. Level 89. Hey, you're probably right there. You doing the Geno Dome? Yeah, stay on the grind. Yeah, let's see if we've recruited our ninth cat. Hey, Scud. Oh, you did it twice for Ayla. Ayla all the way, look. I mean, it's not even that I mind grinding in games, it's just that, like... Once I get all the endings in this, I'm like, eh. Well, I mean, also, I didn't know for years that you would even get anything for max level, so I'm like, well, I got all the endings, I did everything, so... I may as well just monotonously grind in another game at this point. Then once I found out that there was even a, a Specchio form for max level, I just never grinded to get it. Why NW Smelly? How you doing? Nine inch points. Yeah, I don't hit that much harder. I mean, there is that optional boss, though. But yeah, your party's more than capable at, like, level 60. 50 to 60. Yeah, getting all the cats. Yeah, no content hard enough to justify it. Yeah, even in, like, the... Like, Steam version with the bonus dungeons and stuff, like... I think you can level up more quickly, at least. But... And I mean, there's different weapons and stuff. Like a stronger rainbow, all that jazz. There, now we got four kitties down here. So we have a total of nine kitty cats. 61 ounces of cat food. Okay, so... It's probably, like, realistically, <clears throat> if the last one truly is 200 ounces, that, that'll be 8. So even if we're saying the last two are 8, which is like a high estimate, we're shooting for another, well, like 14, still like another four, 13, 14, say 12. Cats. Nine kitties, we're getting there. Yes, yeah, speedy on the bed. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, 90% crit rate. Oh, it'll be okay with just the graphics overhaul and voice acting, you know, so they don't mess up the battle system. I'd be really interested to see them do the battle system in, like, Final Fantasy VII graphics, but, but try to retain the battle system. I think it could be done. Uh, but maybe it wouldn't come across as well. It's hard to say. If they even did, like, not necessarily, not necessarily, like, HD 2D, but, like, Something of that sort, I wouldn't be upset with that either. It's the modern way to play the game on you know in the current day. It doesn't it's a good game, it doesn't need to be forgotten. It just has like you know the novel attached to it, so Yeah, good looking cats for sure. Best way to play these retro games picture quality wise? I mean, Switch is probably one of the best ways. If you know your way around an emulator, I'm sure there's ways you can get, you know, between that and like GPU and all that. I'm sure there's ways you can make it look real nice. Yeah, I'd rather see Dragon Quest XI graphics. I think the Toriyama art style, yeah, would translate. Yeah, a lot better. Yeah, Dragon Quest XI looked great. As did eight. But yeah, normally getting all the cats, it's like it's a little unnecessary. Uh, but it gives me an excuse to stream this game more, so why not? Mod a switch, but would. Way to do that, I was Switch 2. Hey, OB, thank you. I love you, dude. Appreciate it. Game on, brother. I'll do my damnedest. Oh, how is that Alta Delta Traveler fan game? It was good. I think Undertale Yellow was just... I think Undertale Yellow's better. Like, Delta Traveler wasn't bad. It's just, you know, it had, like, Earthbound references in it and stuff. Like, I liked it, but... I beat it in, like... I don't know... 11, 12 hours total, while, like, Undertale Yellow was closer to, like, 20 to 30. Just because it's longer doesn't necessarily mean it was better, but I think it was... Like, I don't feel like the writing in Delta Traveler was... Like, anything really above and beyond that was in Undertale Yellow, so, like... But they... Functionally weren't terribly different, so... I guess I'd give the edge to Undertale Yellow. But, I mean, Delta Traveler's still gonna get some more chapters yet, so... They'll probably wind up being about the same length. It was good, though. I didn't mind it. Which one was funnier? Uh, Undertale Yellow. There's, um... There's just a, a chapter in Delta Traveler that's, like... It, it deals with an alternate, uh... Undertale alternate universe that is just not supposed to be funny. So just by default, it is less funny. Hey, welcome back, Kaizo Serious. Majub, how are you? Getting more rainbow? No, not right now. What's going on, reworked random? I gotta go to bed. I'll help you get some good sleep. Yeah, it ends up Chrono was Lavos. That's why their hair is similar. That's why Lavos is spiky and Chrono has spiky hair. Because he is Lavos. The way the battle sickness was in Earthbound was just too cringe for me. Yeah, at least I want them to yeah swing their weapons and nothing. Yeah, not just text them. I mean, I'm fine with that because I grew up a Dragon Warrior and stuff. But I get why it's not the most visually stimulating battle system for everyone. Forget how many more of these I have to do. I'll attempt to count to like four more and do another cat count. 
Yeah, Lavos is Chrono's father. Well, it's not like we ever meet Chrono's father. They don't even mention that, like, he died young, I don't think. He just never existed. Well, desperately trying to build a crew in GTA Online, yeah, but no one can agree on which version to play. Ah, oh, that sucks, it's not, like, cross-play or anything. Yeah, Chrono doesn't have a father, much less Ness, and it's never explained. I mean, at least you talk to Ness's father. Even though it is equally as explained, which is not at all explained. Like, are we supposed to assume that that Frog is, like, Chrono's granddad or something? Because nothing in the game would indicate that. No one even suggested that, I'm just sort of... thinking out loud. Yeah, Gato's stomach does look like a Pokeball. Yeah, that could be AI on the phone. Yeah, I mean, it could be. We have no idea. Inky Winky, how you doing? Well, yeah, like, I know the real, like, video game story building aspect answer is it's easier to not give these characters parents because then you don't have to write them a backstory and make them fit in the story somewhere. When you can just be like, oh, they died as a kid, if that. And it's like, okay, now we don't have to write this other character. A time saving measure. Jazz 691, yeah, got to. Yeah, has the metal joints. And if you beat him up, you're in 15 silver points. Frog being Chrono Grandpa, yeah, that's an interesting one. Well, I mean, I guess I'm just more thinking about the alternate ending where Chrono and, or I'm sorry, Lean and. that. No, that'd be even worse. Never mind. Where Lean and Frog hook up or whatever. What's going on, Sean? Uh, we aren't doing New Game Plus yet, but that'll probably start tomorrow. We still have clones to get. And Pazoyo dolls. Payoizo dolls, whatever they're called. For everybody. Gonna do that too, might as well. Then one more trip through the Black Omen, then we can finish it all off. It's in the tent with the red star. Behind Gato there? Absolutely nothing. For some reason. My name is... Wait, isn't that Wilford Brimley instead? I think you got them Wilford Brimley and Gato confused. Yeah, it would have been a cool Easter egg. I guess they were thinking about having, like, a tutorial person there, but they're like, nah, it's fine. Right, more Gato beating up. Yeah, there's that other game, too, where if you hit the bell just properly, you get one point. Isn't really worth it. it Would have been nice if it worked somehow, like, uh, Final Fantasy VII's uh, baseball game. Basketball game. I was trying so hard not to say basketball. Where, like, every time you hit it perfect, you could, like, double or nothing it or something. That would wind up being faster than this if you were good at it, I would think. I'm really dead set with, like, Chrono and Ayla. I think once you get Robo's speed up, he'd be a pretty solid number three. Chrono, Ayla, Robo. Yeah, same. I wish my life had little tutorial segments. Me too. <laughs> Ninja, yeah. Basketball. I don't think I ever watched that movie. Yeah, Basketball is my favorite game. 
Yeah, I need to... I mean, I like South Park. I've never watched Basketball. Same minds behind it. It is wonder. It is um, a wonder how this robot never needs to, to be repaired, although we beat it up. I never saw Orgasmo either. <clears throat> White men can't jump. I never saw that either. Rona the gang can affect the timeline because the entity allows it, so Beckler just never went back. Yeah, because he can't do a thing. Yeah, he's just relegated to this tent, apparently. It's like, well, not my story, not my place to say, so I'll just do my thing. Supply the clone like I'm supposed to, the clone-o trigger. I got a secret endgame boss. You have to beat 200 times. I we should have we should have fought that endgame boss though by now. Do one more mini game of this and do another cat check. And we'll have a final ish number. I'm not sure the exact number of, of Gato Clears we'd have to do, but to get 80 points, you need to do, I believe, 5 each time. 30, 60 is 4. Yeah, 30, 60. Yeah, then 75, no, yeah, so 6. A little less than 6, if you want to be, like, hyper-specific about it. Daughter of the Ink Demon, how you doing tonight? Has been a project of many hours. Oh, has it ever? I've done this a few times now. This is one, two... At least my third time doing this, if not my fourth time. I can't recall if I did this in my Steam version playthrough or not. But I did it once for a short series on its own. Doing good, good, good. Yeah, nice to see you back, Ink Demon. Daughter of the Ink Demon. Hope you're continuing to have a good Easter weekend. Almost wrapped up here. How many was that? Two fights? Yeah. Yeah, Omni, yeah, I don't I don't blame you. It's really not worth the effort. But I like to do it when I stream, because Saves a lot of other people the effort to do it. How you doing, retro video gamer? Yeah, Ayla power chugging with a turbo controller. Yeah, might be faster silver points. It would at least be worth considering if I had to like get up to use the bathroom or something. Because there is a lot of menus you have to wait through for this. Then for the fight to load up. Yeah, Waffle at Speedy's played with my beard before. He doesn't usually, but... For two of the episodes I did of the Amori stream, he just played with the beard pretty, uh... Pretty fiercely. I made a short about it. Call me Anna. Alright, Anna. Sounds good. Oh, excuse me. Ah, pardon me. The monster's closing in. It's closing on in. These terrifying koala adversaries.
Barely didn't even go in. Okay, do we have 10? Do I hear 10 cats? Might be right before the threshold. Let's find out. Cracking my knuckles if you can hear the... Ah, I need to get a second controller for the PS5. Yeah, 75, that's not like crazy for a PS5 controller. I just got another first party PS5 controller recently. It was, in Canadian funds, it was around like... I forget if it was like 89.99 or what it was. See, so yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. The Sonics, how you doing? Yeah, Speedy Call. You need some serious hairball control food for hacking up, you know, my beard. You find out about the cat food entrance reset bug thing on your own. Never actually realized it was a thing. I actually forget. Like if it was something I noticed and then checked later. You know, there's four cats plus. Yeah, we got five still. 145. Yeah, we're getting getting near. But yeah, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, it never pushed to 11 cats. I don't blame you at all. If this game ever makes it to, like, modern consoles, I would be surprised if this was, like, an achievement or something. It's very tedious to do. But you can. Why that Whirlpool look like Microsoft Edge logo? Maybe the Microsoft Edge logo looks like that Whirlpool. Yeah. Which came first? This man's delicious chicken dinner. So yeah, still have uh, a while to go yet. <clears throat> Main thing is to try not to overshoot. We could save some valuable silver points if we're... So like I said, I, I want to get dolls for everybody. Clonos. So 7 times 40. That shouldn't take too long. And then 7 times 10, which should be even less long. Your cosplay. Hey, thank you, Anna. Looks cool. Yeah, like the bandana yesterday. Appreciate it. Yeah, I got this... I got this whole outfit, like, about over ten years ago now. I always wanted to go to a convention with it, and it never happened. Maybe one of these days, still. Yeah, his chicken dinner respawns. Yeah, Crazy is willing to testify against Chrono in court knowing that. He's a double agent. You can't be trusted. Alright, good luck sleeping, Lean Phoenix. Thanks for stopping in. I can't trust myself with a way. I, I keep it in a box on top of, like, a mannequin head. I try to keep pretty good care of it. Because I know if I keep my eye off it for even a millisecond, Speedy will start, like, chewing on it and rabbit kicking it. I almost ran out and didn't collect my silver points. How many are we at? I'm not paying any attention at all. As long as we're not at 200, it's fine. We're not being, like, horrendously inefficient. Alright. In retrospect, this would have been, like, if you could have leveled up Gato a little bit. Like, imagine if I was getting a thousand experience per fight here instead of ten. This would actually be halfway worth doing, in, at least in regards to getting to new Specchio. Yeah, Speed uses Cat Attack on Wig, right. It was super effective. <clears throat> I 
I never realized how skinny Gato's feet are. Legs. His arms are bigger than his legs are. Wonder if they're made out of stronger material. Oh, yeah, there you go. Usually do for my birthday the same thing I do once a week. Hey, make dinner for your kid and his mom. We play some sort of game. Hey, that sounds like a good time. Good way to spend a birthday. <clears throat> well, like with the Chrono outfit, I just... I was very particular about the wig. I wanted it to be, like, pretty accurate. And I think it's... I think we pretty well got it. It's... It definitely shows that it's 10 years old, like it is starting to come apart in a few spots and a little, you know, the odd spike is turning in, but... but I mean, it was worth it for me, I wanted, I f like the wig is the whole outfit with this cosplay. Normally I'd shave my beard for the occasion, but I'm not willing to part with mine right now. Oh, I got it online. I think it was at Cosplay Station. And I figure, what? how often do I get to wear it, so I may as well, if I, if I stream Chrono Trigger, I may as well wear it. What else am I going to wear it? Ooh, nailed it. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Elton John voice. Seems to me you lived your life like a chrono trigger wig. Is that in Rocket Man? I'm not actually sure. I wanted to read it as though it was Rocket Man. Yeah, it's that old and still holding up. Yeah, I've tried to keep it pretty, uh... Yeah, it seems to... It was glued together well. Kept in the box and stuff. It's it's received very little wear and tear. I have worn it out to the bar at least once. And I mean, if it can survive a trip to the bar, then... I think that's kind of passing the mustard test. Hey, Shatito, thank you. I will not mention your haircut for once. Oh, candle in the wind. <laughs> Chrono in the wind, gotcha. I'm not on the I'm not on my up and up with Elton John. Need to find a good wig person, ah, for your cosplays. Well we could we could hack the game and give Chrono a beard to make it more accurate. As long as you can Bernie Sue on road. Go Marilyn Monroe and then shamelessly recycled Oh, when Princess Diana died. Nervash type one, welcome to the chat. How are you? Battle one more Gato. Then do the mini game again. One more again. Oh, phone typos, yeah. Autocorrect for you. No, no, you meant this other word that isn't the actual word that you type. Trust us. 110, yeah. Who's the cat lady? I am not sure. Oh, her. Her name's Ayla. She came from 65 million BC. All of our party members are from different periods in time. Well, Chrono, Marl, and Luca are all from 1000 AD. But Ayla's from 65,000... A million, rather. She's a cave woman, basically, and she's wearing a... Like a cat pelt. 
The frog that's with us is from 600 AD and speaks in Old English. Whereas no one else in the time frame speaks that... that way. Hey, JPA, not quite like frog. I can't really show you from this angle. Not quite as swole as frog's, uh, gains. Plowy or Azrael animate stuff? How you doing in it? No, I'll turn you into a marketable plushie. Don't worry about it. Yeah, DB, Frog's theme is a banger. Can I pick one of these? Oh. You're killing me with that question. Which... You can pick one of which. Which would you pick? Suikoden 2 or Chrono Trigger? I've liked Suikoden 2 more than like, I ever have in my entire life right now. That's kind of like a neck and neck question for me at the moment. Yeah, that's hard for me. Yeah, give Hire of a Sophie's choice. Is that like, do you want to be executed by the electric chair of the guillotine type of thing? What's on my mind? I'm just streaming. I don't really have- yeah, Chrono Wig, that's what's on my mind. Not really thinking about anything in particular, just... We're grinding for cats, I'm paying attention to the chat. I don't have a lot of free moments for my mind to wander to begin with. I'm trying to focus on a few different things here. Oh yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be streaming again tomorrow, and I'll be playing this again most likely doing uh, New Game Plus. Where you start the game over again, and but you get to keep all your levels and most of your equipment. Uh, but you can fight the final boss right away, and depending on when you beat the final boss, you get different endings. And I want to show them off. So we'll get started on that tomorrow. Yeah, new game minus. That would be when you start at whatever level you were and your level goes down. So you can get to level minus 99. You start a battle, you just collapse because your HP is negative HP. Yeah, Suikoden's great. Suikoden 2 is like one of my favorites. Like Chrono Trigger is a solid number 3 for me. It has been for years, but, like, Suikoden's, like, bare minimum, like, top four for me. After my last playthrough, it's just... It's just so, like... Yeah, the translation's a bit messy, but that game is, like, just... Really something special. But I like to play Suikoden 1 before 2. I feel like they just kind of go together well. Let's not get you burnt there, Ayla. Gonna go to bed for now. Alright, Waffle, thanks for stopping in. I'll catch you later. Virgo girl forever. How you doing tonight? Thank you, thank you. I have to go, afraid it was lovely seeing you again. I'll be back as soon as I can tomorrow. Yeah, no worries. No worries, Anna. Thanks for stopping in. I'll catch you next time. Did FF12 have a new game minus locked at level 1? I don't know. If it did, I don't remember. Yeah, le allegedly Suikoden 1 and 2 remaster is coming out sometime. I have to play those. I'm probably going to try to figure out a way to do it, like, vertical still, but I don't know. Depends what they did. Oh, it did. Okay, I don't remember. That's brutal. Level 1 Zodiac Edition. 
I mean, I guess it's possible. But... Cow guy, 37. The future refused to change. Uh, not yet. Soon. Soon, though. Oh, the effects in this game. Yeah, really cool. Never played a game like this before. Right I have to go. Yeah, no worries, daughter of the Ink Demon. Thanks for stopping in. Catch you next time. What's going on, Astral Flyer? Higher with the Lyre and Mega Speedy. The name is Gato, and I give you silver coins if you defeat me. Exactly. How you doing, butter boy? We're getting some, uh... Got some catching up to do. We're getting some cats accumulated here. 70 silver points. I'm jumping the gun. I should check again soon. Then I'll know the exact number of Cat food, I'll need to get another cat. Would you rather have Mother 3 localized today or meet the kid who grinded for the gutsy bat and magic? And <laughs> because the player's guide was wrong. The one and only kid. I mean, I definitely did that a little bit. I don't know if I, like, grinded for it, per se, but just, you know, just fought the three of them and be like, well... Guess I'm not getting at this playthrough. How you doing, Gonza? Yeah, how's the cat recruitment going? We have nine, maybe ten right now. We're gonna do the cat food minigame a few more times and then... see what kind of progress we've made. Then we gotta get clones for everybody. Then we gotta get Poyozo dolls or whatever, also. Then one more trip through the Black Omen and we're done. Yeah, the Gutsy Bat should have been in Magican. Should have been in Magican and those Kraken should have just respawned. That would have been perfectly acceptable, I think. I mean, they already made the Sword of Kings, you know, time-gated. Although I maintain the final Starman should have also dropped the Sword of Kings. And by extension, the Bionic Kraken could have also dropped the Gutsy Butt. No, Giyu, your chicken nugget is eating you. Anything but that. No, it's coming along. We've been doing this for about an hour now. So yeah, it'll probably take about two hours total. Then the Black Omen. So yeah, maybe this won't take too long. We'll see. The RNG manip codes. Oh yeah, probably. Or solved by now at least. Yeah, fr yeah, Kraken's not too hard when you have a Franklin badge and the Flame Pendant. Exactly. Thank you, Giyu. And, like, if you get hit with anything else that's, like, especially dangerous, you still have, you should have life up, what, gamma? The one that fully heals you. Anyway, so. So I think you can still... I can't remember if I'm getting this... Con I may as well do one more. I can't remember if I'm getting this confused with Mother 2 Deluxe or not, but... I remember the Kraken's also shooting, like, big water blasts or something that can do okay damage. Yeah, he's got the fire, got the... Insta death with the flash. New name. Um, sure. Stutton Graph in 12. Yeah, an even more insane version of that. There's a few invisible weapons in 12 that are so obnoxious to get. But I mean, 12 was kind of like that anyway. Here's a 1% chance to learn, like, all this different stuff, like, I'll, so many different rooms are like, yeah, here's like a 1% spawn chest. Have fun. Yeah, tornadoes. Right, thank you. Yeah, I should have Crackton in Smash Bros. That'd be neat. He has a diverse moveset. Move set. That would be a left field, uh, inclusion that I wouldn't be opposed to. Because at least it wouldn't be like, you know, another boy with a sword or whatever. Welcome back, Death. I 
I remember stealing an invisible weapon from Zodiac in Final Fantasy XII, but then I lost that fight. And needless to say, I didn't get it the second time. I also forgot you could equip stuff during battle, so, like, had I remembered, I probably could have equipped the invisible weapon and survived. Thumbs the brakes. There, let's see how the cat collecting's going. We definitely have ten cats now. By definitely, I mean I'm not sure. I wasn't counting. That's what I meant by definitely. Music feels loud. Did I forget to turn it down? Maybe I did. Maybe it is, I don't know. I've been playing on, you know, all these different systems and emulators and stuff. All the audio is, like, different for all of them. It's so... Fiddling with audio is... A little cumbersome. Everything's always mastered differently. You gotta always gotta tweak it. I think he's quoting Careless Whisper. Well, maybe I don't know. Maybe they are. There we got five cats down here. Now look at all the cats. Five cats down here. Five cats up here. We have. Five more mini games, we should have our 11th kitty cat. Four if we're lucky. We're almost there. One more cat to get. All of the cats. One more to go. YouTube delete another one of your comments. I see the one with the the cat the speedy emoji. Is YouTube being YouTube again? Like YouTube does? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. So five more of this minigame, probably. So by extension... 30 more Gato fights. Yeah, I, uh... I see the I see three in a row, Ninja. Hey, Sam Williams. Thank you for the cat in the box emoji. Yeah, no, it's alright, Ninja. Don't worry about it. Then we're grinding for clones and the other doll things that will feel faster. Ah, uh, your internet. Uh, updating arc. It's been laggy, gotcha. Yeah, the system might be a little strained. So yeah, we're just beating this robot up a whole bunch. A whole lot over here.
How's our silver points tally now? Sixty. I need more than that. So far as hey, thank you. Glad you like the wig. The very chrono accurate wig. Finally getting a new map release called Scorched Earth. Never got to play. This is the first arc. Oh, so it's like a like a map that was retired but is coming back type of thing. Uh, so really sucks. The first new map. Oh, they're releasing since the game came out. Oh, right on. Yeah, enjoy that. Yeah, Luca, yeah, should put Robo's mind in Nagato's body, yes. Be no stopping him. You're pretty much like Dungeon Man from Earthbound following you around, this big, big, huge robot. I mean, they even have him repurposed in the Black Omen, so. No reason why Luca shouldn't be able to do it, too. Hey, Program Saver, how you doing? Hope you're having a good one. So we're beating, in case you're just joining, we're beating up this robot because we're trying to get cat food for Chrono's cats. We currently have 10 cats recruited. Once you get enough cat food, you get additional cats. And I find the fastest way of getting silver points is beating this robot up. There, we got a... That was at least two battles. 120 there. Forget if we did one this trip already. I don't... I think this is the first one. We'll say four more after this. Does it actually let you slow the other racers down? I wasn't sure if that actually worked or if it was just like a figment of my imagination or what the story was. I've never really looked into that sufficiently. But I find, you know, finding the robot more consistent in that respect, so... At least the robot's gonna die in one hit. How you doing, Alan? Playing Rebirth and honestly overwhelmed by the sheer amount of things the game yeah, expects you to complete. Yeah, there's a lot, for sure. Games have kind of gotten to a point where I'm a little uncomfortable with how big they are. Which I didn't think I'd ever say, but... I think we've hit that threshold. Games are so big now, it just... Because they're so big, it slows the pace right down. how slow-paced modern games feel to me compared to, like, classic stuff. Because they had to tell stories quickly. They only had, like, you know, 20 hours of space on the cartridge or whatever. I mean, personal preference. Malkazine, I will not. Yeah, I think it does work, but too inconsistent, yeah. Yeah, I miss when you could beat a game in a weekend. Me too. Like, even games I like. Like, when I played Persona 5, I liked it, but it also took me, like, two months to beat. And, like, while I really enjoyed it, I'm hesitant to pick it up again, even though there's, like, the Royal Edition, which I guess is really good. I'm hesitant to pick it up again, because it's such a time commitment. I'm having enough trouble, like, I dropped Infinite Wealth. The new Yakuza game that I was playing and enjoyed. That was more because Final Fantasy VII Rebirth came out so shortly after it. 
And I feel compelled to play that instead, but like even that. I just got the dune buggy. I'm probably due to do another stream of that soon, but like, eh, I just don't feel like it right now. Although, I don't know, if I get this done real fast, maybe that'd be a... Worth doing. We'll see. Yeah, perfect pacing greater than 50 hours of padded, repetitive gameplay loops, yeah. Yeah, Serker, beat Amori last Sunday. I didn't do the Hikamori route. Uh, but just did the regular one. I do have half a mind to finish that route, but... I don't think I'll save it for the weekend. I'll just play it whenever I feel like it. So I'm admittedly curious about the other content. As much as you loved Elden Ring, hesitated to pick up the DLC because I don't want to spend another 200 hours. Oh, I get it. I mean, I'm sure it's different for younger people anyway because they're used to longer games. So it's like, okay, great. Well, I'll just play this game for a year. Whatever. But I'm just kind of used to, you know, quicker experiences like this. Or, you know, sometimes you just don't beat a game because it's... You just can't figure it out because there was no internet at the time. Yeah, Octopolaroid. Oh, we've been eating that man's lunch, don't you worry. It keeps material materializing back. I butchered that. But let's eat it. Material? I can't say it today. Material? I can't do it. Material? Why can't I say that word today? Materialize. Welcome back, Waffle. Safe cat. Want lunch? Make some lunch. Problem solved. Material? I'm putting uh, lol, too much lol into materialize. I don't know why. My tongue's being lazy. Material? I can't do it. Even by JRPG standards of the time, this game was actually kind of short. Oh, yeah. If you knew what you were doing, you could do it in like 12 to 15 hours. Yeah, like this game, they kind of expect you to play through it multiple times to try to find all the endings. So, like, there's... You know, having a game be on the shorter side but replayable, it's sort of... You know, it makes up for it. I just kind of like the simplicity of Lavos. It's just some big thing trying to survive. You just happen to get in its way. Uh, is there a DLC to this? Not really, like... The DS version of this game does have more content. It's not like DLC, per se. But it is extra content. It just comes bundled with other versions. How you doing, Oso Gringo? Got your emulator to work finally. Congrats. Brigadine Grand Edition game is some of the best villains. Oh, really? Not gonna lie, you'd be impressed. Brigadine, that's sort of like a Final Fantasy Tactics kind of game, isn't it? Am I remembering right? Oh, how many silver points is 95? Edra Oda, welcome back. I don't mind the super long games, but give me a... Yeah, give me a tight laser focus experience, yeah. Two. There's value in that also. And, like, the Like a Dragon thing, I wouldn't have dropped it if Remake didn't... Final Fantasy VII Rebirth didn't come out, like, so shortly after it. Even had I, like, hunkered down and hyper-focused into Like a Dragon, I don't... I don't know if I would have beaten it in time anyway. Let alone having gotten distracted at all. Yeah, strategy. Got you. Tactics RPG. We'll do one more of these mini games and do another cat count. I think that'll be three, but like, I don't know. 
What if I, what if you get more cat food than I thought? Ju no, I have the first Judgment game, but I haven't played it. Yeah, at least with the Yakuza games being super long, they're packed with so many laughs. Yeah, they don't feel that way. I guess my main issue with, like, I kind of felt it with Like a Dragon, but, like, more so with Infinite Wealth. How long it takes you before the job classes open up, it's a little excessive. Like, I don't think I had access to jobs till, like, at least an in Infinite Wealth till, like, I don't know, 50 hours into the game. Like, I get there's a lot to take in, but, like, you could, you could have let me tinker around with that earlier, I think. Really great, I am. I didn't really ever play any of the Yakuza games until recently with the JRPG ones. Ah, mystery drink. <clears throat> I mean, like, at least a couple jobs, you know? Like, I get why they don't want you to do it, like, five hours into the game either, but, like... It just feels like you're being more productive when you're spending, you know, all that time doing early game stuff. Even if you're not really being more productive, it feels like you can multitask a bit. Tootsie Roll. This is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Came out in 95. Yeah, like, I still liked Infinite Wealth, it's just... I hit a point with it where I unlocked, like, a new area. And then I unlocked another new area that was, like, the same size as the first new area I unlocked. And that was sort of when I officially understood I wasn't finishing the game in time. So I sort of just threw my hands up in the air. You're like, I'll get back. This game's not going anywhere. I'll get back to it someday. When I actually have a bit of a gap in my schedule, I kind of... I don't really have time right now. A yeah, nice mystery drink, thank you. I love the tower defense minigame in Yakuza Kiwami, too. Different really puts me in mind for Fort Condor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mama Say, Mama Sa, Mama Mazuka Zero, Infinite Shaman. Would I get that if I played Yakuza Zero? Yeah, I wonder how long it took to make this game and how many people were involved. I'm actually not sure off the top of my head. Sure, plenty. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to hear a certain somebody's karaoke song and Kiryu's unhinged rant about something. No, no, I haven't forgot about Final Fantasy VII. I still have the remake to play. Or Rebirth. I could stream that at, like, any point now. I'm more or less caught up to the story. I didn't... I left the proto-relic... section undone. So I could stream that. Then we're supposed to go... I think the Cosmo Canyon next. We just got the buggy. Well, it's probably Gungaga, actually. But yeah, then we'll get back to vanilla Final Fantasy VII, the original PS1 version. Oh yeah, I played, what, Final Fantasy VIII? Yes, I have. Streamed it a few times on my channel. Oh, Michael Jackson reference. I know, right? Yeah, kind of ironic in a tragic way. You put Infinite Wealth to the side for Rebirth, and Rebirth has been a bit of a chore to play. It has been. That's why the game's so frustrating, because, like, sometimes I'll play it, and I'll be like, you know what? This part from the original game, their answer to it in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, perfect. Like, there's certain decisions they made, it's like, they couldn't have done better here. 
But then just playing the game sometimes, I just don't find it fun. I keep saying, like, I... I feel like the game was made in mind that, like, I would have a teenager to play it for me. So, like, I can still experience the nostalgia, but let the teenager actually handle the... the newfangled combat. It just seems a little overcomplicated somewhere. We're not quite here. We're definitely close. Two more, I guess, to be safe. Alright, we're almost there, folks. Pasta Penguin, yes. You can say that again. Uh, Greg, no, I am not. Is that a wormhole? Sort of thing. It's nothing the ending of Vince of the Wealth. It's probably one of the most masculine things hey, I've ever seen in a game. No, I definitely do have to get through it still. Yeah. Chase the Moogles is the precious seconds of your life. Yeah, fl flick away. Coworker said Ocarina of Time is the greatest game of all time. Mention FF7 and Chrono Trigger. They don't know what Chrono Trigger is. Alright, Serker. Thanks for stopping in. Have yourself a good one. Yeah, they're 25. Oh, they are 25 years old. And they don't even know what a Chrono Trigger is. I mean, I kind of get that, because, like, yeah, you can play Chrono Trigger on Steam, but it's, like, wasn't a lot of fanfare when it came out. I sort of get why a newer generation doesn't know what a Chrono Trigger is, which is a damn shame. A lot of things I want to mention. Right, right, yeah, no, I appreciate that, Anthony. I mean, yeah, I, I played, I finally have beaten Ocarina of Time, and, you know, I liked it okay, but. I like watching Zelda. I have such a struggle playing Zelda myself. Chocobo is a source of food in Final Fantasy lore. Ah, uh, there's a handful of Final Fantasy games where you can eat Chocobo, I believe. I want to say Final Fantasy XV. At least. But yeah, like, could they at least give us a port of this so I can do, like, trophy collecting or something at the very least? Like, is that crazy? I already bought four copies of this game. What's another one at this point? Have it on PlayStation, have it on Super Nintendo, have it on DS. I have the Steam port. The only Zelda game I ever fu got fully into is Link's Awakening ah, an OG Game Boy. They recognize it's great. Yeah, just everyone crazy for it. Yeah, I like Ocarina of Time just fine, but like... You know, I just struggle with Zelda. I'd be more likely to play Zelda 2 again. Oh, yeah, can't see them Yeah, not adding it to PSN at this point. I mean, I don't know, like, with PS5, if it would nullify the horrendous load times for, like, the Chronicles version, at least. But, yeah, I don't know what the holdup is, especially since they re-released Chrono Cross. That trigger didn't come out shortly after. It's a bit of a head scratcher. Okay, so, well, we might as well just do one, two, three, four more Gato fights and do the two more cat food things and we're, we're done. We're done with the cats, at least. Yeah, Kyra, Gato is the Goto. That's, uh, yeah, it's a regular slime from Dragon Quest behind me. Yeah, PlayStation load times. Yeah, they were aggressively bad. Black chocobos that were being eaten? I'm not sure. Oh, want the evil chocobo? Wait, what? Final Fantasy game? Yeah, there are black cho- Yes, there are black chocobos.
I mean, it depends how tasty Chocobo is. I don't know. I assume it tastes like chicken, but... They are cute. Good for a vertical stream. Yeah, Legend of Zelda Remastered. Yeah! Yeah, I saw that. That does look interesting. Zelda 2, but just... You know, revamped. Yeah, King Slime. Yeah, big boy. Chonky boy. Yeah, Steward. Yeah, Gato, reaction to your level 99 New Game Plus character one-shotting him. He just starts leaking oil and explodes. Just leaves a crater where the Millennial Fair used to be. Oh yeah, I have heard that, Ostrich. There's less calories, but you eat more of it. Quoting Seinfeld over here. Oh yeah, just one old school RPG ah, with an evil ass villain. Gotcha. How you doing, King Zero? Yeah, no, I like Zelda too. It's the most, you know, RPG like with the experience gain and stuff. Ooh, got your car today, right on King Zero. Been driving that around, I imagine. Enjoy. Damn it. I mean, it, we're due. We gotta get one of these anyway. Vix, Wedge. Vix is on the. Damn it. We did it. Well, now I gotta do another Gato fight. Actually, let's do two more, uh... Let's just chug... Two more sodas. Or an RPG where you're the villain, yeah, and the hero's coming for you. Yeah, Octopolaroid, I love Dragon Quest, dude. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, there's not, like, tons and tons of games where it's, like... You're just the bad guy. Oh, come on. I thought I could slack off with that. Oh, that's right off. St stopped off at your job to tell your boss thank you. He fronted you half the down payment. That's right on. That's awful good to your boss to do that. See, I don't blame you at all on that. Eighty twice. There, then we can look at Chrono's 11 cats, then we can get, you know, clones and dolls for everybody, which sounds kind of like the same thing, but it's different. Let's give you a thousand to take from four checks spread out. Oh, good, good, yeah. No, that's right on. That'll, uh, should help you out big time, I'm sure. And it's just fun. It's fun having a car. Super convenient. I don't like driving in like a big city so much, but like small city driving, it's lovely. Some place it's more of a nightmare to get like parking and stuff. What on earth is this guy? Yeah, I speculate that he's King Zeal. Oh, but yeah, no one seems too alarmed at his existence for some reason. 
he kind of sticks out. So if my math is correct, that's 11 cats. No, we're still a little short, I guess. Just barely. Oh, for God's sakes. I need two more ounces of cat food. Somehow. Well, we'll just do the Pazoyo doll thing with Chrono again and... Once, and that should be enough cat food. Yeah, catastrophe. So paying payments to the seller as well. Oh, yeah, I got you. It'll be tight for three months. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, short term pain, long term gain. But we might as well get, <clears throat> like, 50 points so we can get enough cat food and also get Chrono's clone. So we can at least do that in one... One go-over. There's two more. Hey, DK Banana, show us that retro achievements to your playthrough. Oh, they actually have a crazy cat lady achievement for all the cats? I didn't know, though. I'm playing this through the Mess and S emulator. Is it even... Is retro achievements even attached to that? I've never, like, super looked into retro achievements. Like, I'm familiar with it, but... How to actually have it work. Yeah, Vixen Wedge basically got iazaki yeah, from Guardia, yeah, from Narsh. Yeah, after Tritoch, you know, spirited them away to another dimension, they just wound up here. What's up, King Zero? It's 55, isn't it? Forty-five? Yeah, that's how math works. Hey, T-Roy, thank you for being a lard lover, my dude. Appreciate it. Agreed, Tritoch greater than Valaga Miranda. Hey, thank you for the lard, T-Roy. Appreciate it. There. Adam Wood, thank you for the lard. So we'll pay 10 silver points. Surely this will give us two ounces of cat food. Vix, Wedge, Piet. Vix is in the middle. I think Wedge is on the left. Yeah. Cat food. Poster that's not a wall scroll, but more of a foam material. I was still in the frame, perfect condition. Hey, I look Dragon Ball. Goku is a child. Right on. Got that hung up? Yeah, I guess it has been about a month since. Yeah, Norstein Beckler laugh. Kefka laugh. Left, right, Y, A. Alright, 
There. Being all tricky, Chrono Clono. We did it. Got another clone, just in case Chrono dies again. We'll have a spare. There, that should do it. Blue, how you doing? It's fake you. Yeah, kick his ass. Vicksburg, Wedge, and PT. Yeah, that's what I always call them. Oh, well, made 92. Yeah, 32 years old. Yeah. Yeah, probably King Zero. Didn't mean to type Vicksburg. Oh, why not? No, I couldn't even begin to guess the value of it. Uh, full speed ahead. Yeah, glad to have you, Blue. Glad you're doing good. Ugh. Do one of these. Maybe one of these. There. There, all all done. There get the get this over more. This should be tied. Excuse me. This should be tied around my neck, but it's like a little short. And I don't like being choked for six hours at a time, if you can believe it. There we go, we got all the kitties. You know you got all the cats when you have the Alphador kitty. We, so yeah, the 11th cat is actually a purple cat. Looks just like Alphador. There we go, we got all 11 cats. We got six down here, five up in Chrono's room. Look at them all. The Chrono being surprised, he's all celebrating, he's dodging or whatever that sprite is. It's Chrono deep in thought. Surprise. We'll do the celebratory Chrono. And then uh, Chrono's music. Which I guess is Chrono's song, but I don't think of it as Chrono's song. How about a snooze? Hey, thanks, Nest Force. 21k, we're 21k and climbing. Yeah, I got all 11 cats. How many, uh, how many cat food is left? Four ounces of cat food. I guess we got six from that 10 point game. That might be more economical, but would take longer. There we go. So let's now collect. All the dolls and everything for everyone else in the party. So 50 times 6, so 300 more silver points. Is there any reason to get the cats or just get them if you like cats? Pretty much no real reason. It, it does something for the ending that's like a little funnier. But nothing like earth shattering. But yeah, I'm not good on the, you know, value, like, evaluating uh, collectibles and stuff. Hey, Bandit's Best, what's happening? I'm getting a clone for everybody. Then I'm getting another doll that plays music for everyone. Then we gotta go through the Black Omen one more time, and that's a wrap. So let's just start putting other people in the front row, then it'll just be easier to keep track. <clears throat> yeah, that yeah, that being said, the two biggest flexes in this game, yeah, I got all the cats and I got max level. Yeah, it's a little funny that I'll, I will go to the trouble to get all the cats in the game. 
but I won't go to the trouble to grind to max level to fight new Specchio. This is, like, way more tedious. But, I mean, it is what it is. Way to post a picture here. No, not, not in the... the YouTube chat. Just, like, on Discord or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't let you post uh, pictures in the YouTube. So yeah, I don't know. Right, yeah, once I noticed that too, it's like he has a Pokemon, a Pokeball on his belly. How does that even happen? You know, this is also assuming I don't mess any of these up. I'll probably mess up a clone game at some point. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, part of me wishes you could post pictures in the chat, but logistically, you understand why we should never have that feature. Yeah, it'd be complete chaos. Yeah, just all the schlongs that would be in the chat. It'd be a... It'd be a... A mess. You're posting all sorts of filthy things in the chat. Eighty-five, we're almost okay. I mean, let's do that one more, then we can do frog and Ayla. one trip. <laughs> There's an arcade game that would take your pick if you got a top score. Yeah, it always had dick picks. I'm gonna go. Alright, Wafflet. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. I did see, I saw a short or something where the cat picks uh, Cards Against Humanity and it's like I forget what the answer was. <sighs> One second. Hey, thanks, t -Roy. All right, let's put... Put Ayla in for... Okay, fine, I guess it's Frog, though. Uh, ten. It's Viggs, Wedge, and Piet. Vix is in the middle. We did it. Hey, no worries. Spruce up your room. Now your room will have a doll in it and... 600 AD. Laugh with Y, that's what I need to remember.
Hooray. Hey, what are you saying? Content warning? What are you talking about, Ugly Douglas 20k? Fib, yeah, you're built like Lard. Thank you. Yeah, no normally when I play it, I'll at least get Chronos clone, like, pretty much as soon as I can. But for this playthrough, I wanted to show the other dialogue. Yeah, you can either physically type it in your web browser, or if you're on desktop, the link should still work. It's suspect on, like, the shorts feed or whatever. Vix is in the middle again. Amari, how you doing tonight? Alright, laugh with the Y button. Right, we did it again. The clone will be at Ayla's house in 65 million BC, no big deal. We have zero silver points. Well, I guess now we just get max silver points. Let's swap in... Swap these two out for now. Put Robo in. No, we'll put in... Luca and Marl. We'll make it easier for Norstein. In this level, <laughs> Ayla's still in the. I mean, I guess that's okay. I mean, realistically, I should be doing like that. But I mean, uh, Chrono has the Berserk thing, so. It's not gonna matter for all the TP difference you'll get. Skylar, what's happening? You love surprise Ayla. Like, Kitty, how you doing tonight? Richard Davis, what's happening? Oh, what even is this? Oh, I missed so much of Chrono Trigger. Oh, right now we're, uh, we just grinded and got 11 cats at Chrono's house. Now we're looking to get, uh, clones and music dolls for all the party members. Once we do that, we're gonna go to the Black Omen and then beat the game. Gamer dude, how you doing? Oh, the content warning game is free today. Gotcha, gotcha. Catharsis, Catharsis, ESE, how you doing? Yeah. You realize, don't work in shorts, you have to type it in. But yeah, doing alright, Amari. Hope you get some good rest tonight. No, Gato's not good for TP. <clears throat> he only gives you one. I'm just... I don't know, I'm just kind of swapping... Out of the girls in here, just so I remember. Hey, I haven't gotten all the dolls for these characters yet. And after this, it's just Robo and Magus, and... It's the whole lot of them. Yeah, I'm after the fair points, exactly. The silver points.
Oh, yeah. Never able to bring Chrono back to life. Yeah, I didn't know you could clone anyone. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, if you don't go in that tent, it's an easy enough thing to miss. Even if you do, it's like, ah, I'll just play the ten-point game. Oh, I got a doll. Whatever. And then just kind of move on, right? But yeah, this is kind of the easiest way to get silver points right now. Well, I mean, I guess it would be easier if you, like, turbo controllered the chugging game and did something else, but you can only get 200 silver points at a time, so it's not like you could accumulate, like, thousands. Hey, Pedro, how you doing? Lired Lord, that's me. Yeah, I really need to replay this. Yeah, kind of an obscure hidden gem, gem kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. Overlooked a lot of heavy hitters. Oh, yeah, this one's worth playing for sure. I mean, the kind of the thing about Chrono Trigger is, while it was a heavy hitter, it's sort of been forgotten in time a bit. Because we haven't gotten a... Like, I mean, yeah, you can play it on Steam, but, like... There hasn't been a lot of, you know, new fanfare about Chrono Trigger in a long time now. It's, so, it's sort of fading a bit. Doing alright, Pedro. But yeah, we're just getting all the clones and stuff, just because... Yeah, there you go, headphones. Yeah, you don't have to worry about what your siblings think about what you're watching. <clears throat> yeah, soda drinking contest would be a good idea, IRL. It'd be hard on the guts for sure. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, now that Chrono Star is beginning to fade, your hipster sensibilities will let you play it again. That might be just to uh, just, uh, sneak in there before they remake it and it gets popular again. yet yes we just need another 50 but if I mess up may as well have a little spare to work with oh wait right and you can't switch party members when you're in Beckler's lab Lair, lab, whatever. Oh, come on, off of it. What was that? How do you even do that? Yeah, I really want to complete remake of Chrono Trigger and Cross. Yeah, but I feel like we'd be missing out. Yeah. Oh, with Toriyama's passing, yeah, we'd finally... Yeah, bring hope to the third game, yeah, finally getting produced. Yeah, that'd be wild if we actually finally... If they actually went through with Chrono Break. I'd be very surprised. Pleasantly, but surprised. I'm Vix. I'm Wedge. I'm Piet. They keep going in the same order. Uh, Wedge. Did they ever ask me to find Piet? It's only been Vix and Wedge tonight. Forty silver points. Why is laugh?
Laugh. There we go. Except you're only laughing with... I was going to say one frame of animation, but that's not even accurate. It's just a still animation. The way she's just floating there. I love how Marl just defies gravity and no one ever really says anything about it. In game, at least. Well, there she could feasibly on her knees, I guess. There's no shadow under her. But in battle, when she wins and is levitating... We did it. Clone will be at Marl's house. Yeah, that house that is a palace. That house. From what I understand, Toriyama had, like, a pupil who's pretty good at emulating his style. So, I mean, I guess his likeness will go on for a while yet. Negachin. I mean, I didn't do anything for April Fools this year. It was something I was into, like, when I was younger, but, like, I don't know, I just didn't, haven't felt, you know, compelled to participate in recent years. Sometimes I would just play, like, a funny game on April Fools, but, like, I didn't, just didn't feel like it this year. Extreme Bebe's Kids or something. Color a Dinosaur. Vix is in the center again. Goofy, what's happening? Hey, thank you. Glad you liked the videos, my dude. Gonna go. All right, Ugly Douglas 20K. Have a good one. All right, clone. Obtaining minigame, let's go. Why to laugh? Why to laugh, go. That took way too many brain cells that time around. Oh, give me a break. I hit L like three times there. What was that crap? Let's do that again. Hey, none of your business. How you doing? Welcome back. Ryan Curry. How you doing? Extra push the button, I guess. Work that time. <laughs> Joining random Minecraft worlds. Yeah, I'm putting bombs down. Yeah, April April Fools destroy everyone's Minecraft worlds. Ten silver points. No. So pull out Magus and Robo. I did it again. Well, I mean, I guess Chrono shouldn't be up top, because then I won't make that... I'll be less prone to make that mistake. Or I'll be more prone, because I won't... Robo, eat the chicken dinner. 
Good Robo. Yeah, any word on the HD 2D remake for Dragon Quest 3? It's been a minute. Dread Pirate Bubbles, hey, found your Suikoden vids, hell yeah, thank you. Glad you enjoyed those. I can't, I'm gonna be playing Suikoden 1 and 2 again very soon. Iodin Chronicles, right around the corner. Coming out this month. Very soon. Look forward to it. Not yet, uh, not since December. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll get another update in December. I guess we'll see. Spawn then cats and then put large signs. Yeah, got him. Got him. Yeah, I also look forward to Iodin Chronicles, hell yeah. I did, like, Kickstarter backing for it, so I do have access to, like, the beta version of the game on Steam, but, like, I just haven't had time to even try it. I should at least play it for a few hours, I think, before, like, the full thing comes out. Just get a feel for it. A series anniversary is coming up in May. Okay. Yeah, hopefully I get news soon. Yeah, for all we know, they'll announce it this year. I don't know, but like, it's been radio silent for way too long. Like, I mean, if they were playtesting it in December, like, what the hell did they find? That, like, broke the game. Like, I get it. That's a lot of panels and stuff. Like, if you're doing 2D, a lot of... You know, sprite work. <laughs> I love how Magus actually learned something fighting Gatto of all things. That one dude too, no. At least you didn't forget the lard. That's the important thing. You just sold it all. Yeah, Xenius. No, we did get all the cats. But now we're just getting clones for everybody. Which will be like two Gatto fights away and then... Just do the mini game and we're good in that respect. Just a nice soda, yeah, for ain't the only one guzzle. Hundred silver points if we do it correctly. Uh, that's all we need. Then we can do the black omen and then finish her off. And then I don't know. I might just have an early night. We'll see. We shall see. Vix, Wedge, Piet. I love how it's been the same each time. Like the same pattern. Maybe not each time, but like the last quite a few times. Yuri Dragons, this is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Getting all the cats is so time consuming. And I like to do it when I stream, because, you know, it's just... It's a good time to actually chat. I don't have to, like, pay super close attention to what I'm doing. In the game, anyways. Here, I sort of have to. Laugh with why. I hear what Robo looks like when he's laughing. The robot robots don't laugh. That's why he's surprised. I guess they can be surprised, but not laughing. Oh, there now he's laughing. Look at him laugh. All jovial. Jovial robo, they call him.
Hooray. Magus, your turn. Oh, Iden Chronicles. Yeah, it comes out like April 20-something. It's real soon. I'm not even going to be done Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like, I didn't expect that, but... I'm going to play that when it comes out, so we'll, you know, we'll work through it as I... As I feel so inclined, I suppose. Yeah, Robo, yeah, I can eat the old man's lunch, too. My flavor receptors indicate this dinner tastes like chicken. Isn't collecting cats your favorite part in the game? I really like how it's in the game. I don't expect anyone to ever do it, but I love that it's here to be done if you want. Hey, Oswald, one, two, three, how you doing? Oh yeah, me too. I have a pretty strong personal connection to Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Quest. And Chrono Trigger, for that matter. Alright. Why to laugh? Doing great now. Good, good, good. Karma Jolt, thank you for the Chocobo speedy emoji. Excuse me? Okay, that's surprise, I guess. Magus one surprised. Just does that. Puts his head down a little bit. Well, that's clearly laughter. Surprised. Surprised. Laughter. Surprised. Surprised. Laughter. Surprised. Surprised. Very surprised. We did it. There. Perfect amount of, of silver points. Not a silver point to be wasted. Hey, Wafflet, welcome back. We just recruited all party members' clones and uh, music box dolls. So we're gonna go jump through time and check all those out. And then we're gonna do the Black Omen for the third time, and then we'll finish this off tonight. Uh, but tomorrow we'll get back on and do New Game Plus stuff again. We're far from done with this playthrough. Let's go back to Chrono's house first. I guess I could just go out through the front now. Yeah, Breath of Fire. I love Breath of Fire. Stoked to see that you're playing it. I love that game. The whole series. Watched you do the Nina section after my stream last night. Just curious how you're going to react to certain things in the game. Yeah, a robot, yeah, technically can't use magic. Yeah, we are. It is far from over. Yeah, here's our 11 cat. Wait, did the cats actually... We can actually lose cats? I've never actually seen that before. I guess we have to get more cats back now. Well, how'd that happen? There was 11 cats here. Well, now I have to get more cats. We'll find them. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stop everywhere else and show off the clones. I'm getting the cats back, though. I'm not standing for them. I've never- I've heard that could happen. I've never seen it happen before. So, yeah. Well, let's go to Marl's room. Listen to her music. Here's her clono. She's mad. She wants a hug. She's taunting. Laughing. Yelling. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna have to get more cats then. Not having it. 
Unless you can't get them back, I don't know. We're gonna see. Yeah, Chrono Cat speed run. Well, not soon enough. Maybe because we did the other Norstein things, I'm not sure. Got her gun. Did I not actually not get her? A no, I had to have gotten her. Did I really not get a, a Zoyo doll or whatever for Luca? We're having a nap. Relatable. Abiba Usman, how you doing? Yeah, there it is. Doing good. All right, let's go back to. You know, let's go to twenty three hundred. Go to Robo's house. Portal Poncho, how you doing? Saul, good. How are you? We have to get the cats back though. I'm not having that. We're gonna have an eleven cat run. Guess I should have got more cat food. Apparently. I didn't think I went through the front, so like, I don't, I don't know. Robo roll music. Chrono with his, with his chest out. Yeah, I just, I had never seen any of the cats run away before. I thought it was only tied to going through the front entryway of the Millennial Fair. I didn't think they left otherwise. Or that it subtracted from the food counter. I think me meddling around with Norstein Beckler more might have had something to do with it. I'm not sure. You can actually lose your first cat. I've definitely never seen that. Well, we'll see if we can get our cats back. Might be learning something else tonight. Yeah, frog's music. Frog being all swole. Croaking. Sticking his tongue out in battle. Being surprised. Then Magus's house is considered twenty, uh, you know, twelve thousand BC. On that uh, cape that you can fight him at. God of War 3 or Ragnarok. I'm not really sure. I haven't really played either of them. Magus music. Adjusting his glove. Laughing into his hand. Pointing that way. Exit stage. Right. There. The black wind is blowing. Hey, Metabee, welcome back. And last but not, certainly not least, Ayla's. I think is this hut? Yes. Blowing kisses. Being strong. Doing her Vanna White impression. Ooh, triple kicking. Oh yeah. Let's go up the... I want to go up the stairs.
So now we're going to grind for more cats because we lost some of them. So we're not done yet after all. Chris W, how you doing? So yeah, should have should have gotten more cat food, evidently. I'm not sure what pushes that along though. I didn't name the 11 cats. You're welcome to. So yeah, however many more... Uh, yeah, I guess it was just because I let the food go to zero, must be. Yeah, speedy 1 through 11, yeah, done. Why is the girl- she's from the prehistoric era, it's just like a loincloth. It's more so like she's a cave woman. As long as one cat is Vegeta Jr. Well, we did get 11 cats, but then they were gone. Well, some of them were gone. I'm seeing if I can get them back. I actually don't know if that's how that works or not. I haven't... Adam Olofsson, no, I haven't actually seen the Chrono Trigger via OVA. Yeah, she does have that artwork where she's wielding a club that she never gets. Yeah, same thing with Frog and yeah, that shield. It would have made sense for Frog to have, like, a sword and a shield. Would have just been... I mean, yeah, he's got, like, a broadsword instead of Cloud's katana, but... Could have helped differentiate him a bit more. It's not really needed, I guess. I do like that Ayla just fights with her fists, though. So. Yeah. No, I know, like, I've heard about it, I just never think to look it up, but yeah, if it's on YouTube already. Hey, extra most for Speedy himself, hell yeah. The man. Speedy the man. Yeah, with the front box art, how it's outside, and how Frog is there against Hecarin. Yeah, there's a lot of problems with the box art. It's based off of some demo footage, I guess. Oh yeah, originally Mario was supposed to use a fire magic user too. Probably just as well they let Luca be the fire one since she tinkers with electronics and stuff. Oh yeah, Mario, yeah, using a yeah, yellow zap magic yeah, on Chrono's sword. Yeah, not not the ice. Hey, Oliver the noob, how you doing? Oh, does she really? Extra fingers? I've never paid close enough attention. Hey, Joshy. No, I'm going to play through Breath of Fire 2 again, probably in July. I love Breath of Fire. Hey, Ender's Channel. Welcome back. 
Yeah, no worries, Oliver, so long as you're well. No problem. Yeah, Breath of July, or exactly. Try to get through Breath of Fire 1 through 4 in July. That's the current plan. Love that series. Year of the Dragon. Should play Breath of Fire again. I'm not sure how the game calculates how the f cat food depletes. I thought it was a misunderstanding and only de depleted if you exited Millennial Fair through the front. But apparently it's more complicated than that, so I really don't know what's happening. Yeah, totally. I mean, I get it. I stream a lot, so I, I get that you can't always make it. See, so yeah, I'm not even really sure how many more uh, cat foods I'm going to need. I'm surprised, like, how many cats I lost right there. I could have swore I did it. The shorts playthrough of this I did. I didn't... I got all the cats early. I didn't think I lost any, but... Again, maybe I just... Got sufficient food. Maybe I just didn't go back and check. I don't know. Breath of Fire 2 is my favorite. But, I mean, they're all good for different reasons. I didn't watch, like, a lot of Naruto. Well, I mean, there, there was, like, one period where I watched, like, I don't know, maybe 30 episodes of Naruto all real quickly. But that was, like, 20 years ago, and I don't... I remember nothing about it. Well, maybe that's how that works, and I misunderstood. When you enter the fountain area of Lean Square, you lose cat food. And that's where I lost it, rather than... I thought it was when you, like, exited or entered through the front, but I guess it's any time you enter that area at all. And that's the part I misunderstood. Joachim, how you doing? Sam? happening tonight well the fountain area of the square yeah well like the fountain area of the square has its own you know that's where you have to go to get the cat food but so yeah i guess you'd be better <clears throat> you'd be better off going i don't know if it would really matter if entering exiting norstein beckler's area counts as Another, some amount of the food going lost. Yeah, that'd be wild if by July we actually get like a Breath of Fire collection. Also, if I play through all of Breath of Fire, then we get a Breath of Fire collection. I wouldn't, don't put it past me to just play through them all again if that happens. Mr. Bombastic, how are you doing? Welcome back. But yeah, we're due for a breath. Well, I mean, I think part of it is like Capcom's like, yeah, well, we have Breath of Fire 1 and 2 on the Switch. So they just don't seem to want to prioritize making a collection, but I would still buy it. 3 and 4 isn't super available like you could have gotten it on ps3 hey thanks walking you like the wig 
Oh, Claudia Rosler. I started playing video games. I was, I don't know, three, four. I was little, little. Hey, Mr. Boot. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, depriving vintage gamers of our necessary v potin nutrients. That's right. The use for those nutrients should be obvious. Excuse me. There's just no music in this part. Go. All right, Mr. Boot. Later. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do another two batches and check again. It might be kind of funky the way that it's... I don't know. We'll see. I want all the cats, damn bit. Yeah, it had to have been Atari for me. I wouldn't mind if they remade all the Mega Man games and, like, Mega Man 11... Graphics. I like the old graphics okay, but they're so, like, seizure-inducing. Be nice to release them in a way that doesn't, like, where they're not so bad that way. Yeah, you suppose we'll ever get a Mega Man Legends collection? Throw Tron Bon in there, too. 31 Gundam, have you been? Missed the whole playthrough. Do you have this on YouTube? I do! <clears throat> All the episodes of this live stream is available for viewing on my channel. Let's go to the live stream section, and you can watch all my previous episodes. Yeah, I've never done that, but I've heard that that works, Kyra. Uh, Sega Genesis controllers just fit and work in the Atari for some reason. Hey, Brendan to Leon. Yeah, best game ever. Yeah, we're just, just getting a few more cat foods. <clears throat> I made an error. But I mean, I, we're, I was looking to be finishing early anyway, so it's... Probably just as well. I want all the cats. Excuse me. Being all gross over here. How is our... Try to do this in fewer... Fewer trips in that case. Try to get to 160 again, get two more cat foods, and then reassess. The goat cat? Oh, it's Neko from Secret of Mana. 
him or devil. Yeah, devil shaman cat. Yeah, from Boff too. Yeah, I'm a I'm a cat fan for sure. Lynn. I haven't played enough Secret of Mana. I don't really know much about the the Nico from that that series. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. Have a good night, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll always swing by to catch what you're playing. Hey, right on. Appreciate that. The classic JRPG love. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I don't think I still have my OG Game Boy. I might still have, like, Super Mario Land kicking around or something. I had a few games. I had Kirby, Dreamland, Pinball, Kirby Pinball, WWF King of the Ring, excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Did I say the Looney Tunes game? I forget. Super Mario Land and, uh... I had five games, I forget. Two Kirby, wrestling game, Looney Tunes. Oh, and Mario Land. <clears throat> oh yeah, Secret of Mana, one of your favorite games. It has a lot of old game jank. You had the time and money and didn't have to scrap. Yeah, a bunch of content. And the remaster of it left something to be desired, I guess. Excuse me. <clears throat> I played one episode of it, but I don't really have a... I'm not nostalgic for it, like, the same way as other people, so I don't really know either way. Oh, silver points, it's just, like, play money that you use for this fair area. Thank you, Master Shun. I mean, you're always welcome to post more pictures of your cat on the Discord. You won't get any complaints from me. <clears throat> I played a bunch of Castlevania games back in, I want to say, like, 2019. I never really played Castlevania. I played four. But even that was, like, in the past five years or so. I'm kind of new to Castlevania, but I've played most of them now through the Castlevania collection and the Requiem collection that also has Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night on it. Yeah, Chucky cheese tickets for cash. No kidding. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm hacking for over here. Hey, Kyra Gaming, congratulations. You left my wall. <clears throat> Hope you're living a nice full life. Outside of my wall. But no, I never played any of the PS2. <clears throat> Excuse me. The PS2 Castlevania games or any of the Game Boy Advance ones. Although they look good. What's going on, Cactus? I'm just hacking and coughing over here. For no reason. Okay, let's check the cat total again. <clears throat> now to have a better understanding of what the hell happened. Yeah, going in and out, if I had no cat food, then cat's good. Upset with me. Ugh, I have an ear infection. Sorry to hear that, cactus. <coughs> it's not even that I'm sick. I just started hacking and coughing, like, I don't know, ten minutes ago. I have Speedy on me. I don't know if, like, I'm getting cat hair. I'm, like, I'm breathing in cat 
hair or something. <coughs> Maybe. Yeah, 18. Yeah, that's an old kitty. Circle of the Moon's kind of janky. The controls, I feel. Yeah. Like it better. Yeah, if I controlled like Symphony of the Night. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, eight. Seriously, there's eight cats now? Did I ever. Did I ever screw this up? I should have gotten all the, the other dolls earlier, apparently. <clears throat> I wreaked havoc, havoc on my cat collecting... ...a journey here. Yeah, Gabriel Peterson. It's a great game. Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Yeah, the crazy cat Canadian, yeah. I mean, I already got the 11 cats, but some of them left because I didn't get enough food after. So we're getting them back, <clears throat> which is just as well because as the stream was kind of fixed and end early, so blessing in disguise, I guess. I won't pay too much mind to checking. I'll just wait. At, at the end of the hour, I'll just check again. See if we got all the cats. Yeah, I must reclaim. Yeah, speedy 9, 10, and 11. Welcome back, Joaquin. Yeah, Douglas, yeah. Higher stream ending, yeah, is never good. Agreed. <clears throat> Let's do it. I just didn't real like, I thought the... I just thought the cat food decreased uh, differently than it does. I, was, I misunderstood enough that it was uh, fairly inconvenient. Yeah, that's all right. Then we can go through the Black Omen a third time. We'll be fine. Then tomorrow we can start New Game Plus in it. New Game Plus in it up. That's pretty good. Nino Kuni too on Switch. Eighty-five percent off right now. Solid. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I got Nino Kuni 2 on my PS4 for like 80% off or something. I've heard it's good, I've just, I don't know when I'll ever play it. Jack Board Guy, welcome back. I'm infecting your feed. Hope I'm not too uh, burdensome on your feed. Revy Havoc, how you doing? Second time come across me playing this. There's a smile on my face. Seeing such a love game for my childhood. Hell yeah. Chrono Cross, too. Yeah, crazy nostalgia. Yeah, super times. Have fun, mate. Will do. Thank you, Revy. Gonna keep at it here. I'll play Cross, too, at some point. I don't know when. How about eventually? And Ino Kuni, too. Really good game. Personally, really enjoyed it. But yeah, murder free music. I'm just trying to get uh, Chrono 11 cats. And the fastest way to get silver points is with this fight. I heard Nino Kuni 2 feels more like a Suikoden game. If anything, but I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't played it myself. How is our silver points? 
Getting Chrono Cats doesn't, like, really do anything. There's just more cats in his house, and, like, it makes the ending a little different. Sort of. Technically. Yeah, technical, right, yeah. It just takes so long to get all the cats, and that's assuming you don't mess up and also lose some of them. Hey, I'm glad you liked the live streams. Appreciate it. What's a Josh Strife fought on Chrono Trigger? It's an absurd amount of endings. Yeah, for an SNES game. There's at least 10, and then there's, like, modified versions of the endings to boot, so, like, I'm not sure what the actual tally is. Yeah, exactly. If you really want to get technical, you can have up to 11 cats, so yeah, that's 10 additional variants to the ending. Right. If you really want to break it down. And I forget if, like... If the cats still run through the portal when you smash the Epoch into Lavos. And, like, you fly away in balloons instead of, like, going away on the Epoch. So if, like, that could be another, you know, ten endings. With that other slight variant. Like, eleven cats for each slightly modified end-of-game ending. Like, if, like you said, if we're being technical. But I'm not sure, like, I think, but I forget. Oh yeah, there was like, um, there's a way that you can like one-shot Lavos with the green dream. I forget how, I meant to look it up. Uh, but I forgot. Maybe I'll try to do it for New Game Plus if I remember. No promises. You know, it's all good, King Zero. I don't mind if that, like, if you guys get talking amongst yourselves about other topics other than the game or me or whatever, that's fine by me. Like, I don't... Doesn't offend me any. Glad you're here enjoying yourselves. But yeah, no, I never saw the Chrono Trigger OVA. Yeah, I find it funny how these classic games make you want to grind for cosmetic things like cats, yeah. Right, yeah, but modern games make us bored with forced grinding. Yeah. Yeah, I just never think to look it up and watch it. I'll be playing this again tomorrow, because you can do, like, a New Game Plus mode where you can keep the progress that you've done for a second playthrough to get more endings. So we'll do another however many episodes that takes, I'm not sure. But today's Monday. I'll, it'll probably take three more streams. More if I want to do new Specchio, but, like, I don't know. Again, it's funny that I have the attention span to do this, but when it's grinding to fight Specchio, I'm like, eh. Whatevs.
Yeah, Lavos won some yeah, high speed. Yeah, speedrunner glitchery. Yes. It's definitely speedrunner hijinks. It activate the buffer overflow. It lets you roll from zero damage to maximum damage. Yeah, something like that. I haven't looked it up recently. I just thought it was neat that, yeah, even if it is like speedrunner hacks that aren't intended, that, it, that you can. Yeah, grinding for Specchio takes a lot longer, I believe it. I'm sure once you get to like level 90, it really starts to... Starts to drag. I'm not sure why 7's translation's so weird. I don't think that's a Woolsey, but I... I actually don't know. I don't really mind his translations for the most part. Breath of Fire was questionable, but... That's kind of the only one I really take issue with. Just because it made the game hard to play. Everything was truncated to hell, and I get that there's only so much you can do in that situation, but... There was spots where the items could be described, and it's like, this item, the use for this item should be obvious. Like, okay. But yeah, Kaizo serious. There's a there's a secret boss in this game. If you get the max level, which I don't normally do, uh, four more. <clears throat> Yeah, had gotten everyone with Magus to max level, right? Yeah, even back in 2000, couldn't be bothered. Yeah, you get them so late in the game. I feel kind of the same way. It's like, wow, you start me with... I mean, it's alright that he has fire, ice, and lightning magic. Like, that's well-rounded, but, like... They could have also started him with Dark Bomb. Like, you don't need to... I mean, I get you get a lot of tech points at the end of the game. It just seems kind of like... Why can you do Dark Matter... In his fight, but when you have him, you won't use dark matter. Like, stuff like that. Like, if he started with a full kit, that wouldn't have been... Like, overpowered or anything. This late in the game. Yeah, if you go to the end of time, that Specchio guy that's there. If you're at max level, you can fight a version of him that you can't fight unless you're max level. You really have to go out of your way. Yeah, that's the best place to grind, I guess. The In the Geno Dome, that conveyor belt. Yeah, gamer dude, exactly. It might be l level 100, I'm not sure, but you have to be level star star. I forget if that means 99 or 100. But yeah, if you're, whoever's in the front row... If they are level star star, uh, you can fight a special version of Specchio. Yeah, max level, yeah, whatever it is. It is level 99. Alright, thanks, Anthony. I was just never really certain about that. Perfect. So once we, I stopped counting how many games of this we're doing, but once we hit two o'clock my time, which is in less than a half hour, we'll check up on the kitties again. Yeah, and also, if you missed it in my first episode, if you can get the Specchio in under level 9, there's another form of him you can fight where he's a frog. He's super weak and easy to beat, but, like, you kind of have to go out of your way to even get the Specchio at under level, at level 9 or under. You either have to kill Chrono off in your fights or, like, run away from a lot of fights. 
But if you're going for like a true completionist run sort of thing, you gotta do a low r level run at the start, because otherwise you miss a magic tab. Now, if you don't care because you can get magic tabs otherwise, then like, fine. It's just one of those things. It depends how a completionist run works, I suppose. Was oh, that the deal? Realizes because Lavos gives him the big suck after his failed glow stick attack before the Chrono sacrifice. Oh, they don't mention it. Oh, if that would be why. Wait, I just did one, didn't I? I just did two in a row, didn't I? I don't know. We'll see. He'll kick me out if I didn't, or if I did. Yeah, I don't have enough points. Yeah, waste maybe wasting more cat food this way. You grind for stat tabs? Uh, sort of. Like, on the in the Black Omen, you can fight this enemy called a Tubster. That drops power tabs. You can get speed tabs from panels in the Black Omen, but they don't respawn. There's enemies you can get magic tabs from. I forget if they respawn. I think they don't. But, I mean, if you do New Game Plus, you can feasibly get, like, infinite of all of these tabs. So it's not like they're... They're missable in that sense. You can get everything max uh, stats that way. You know, at least through power, speed, magic, that stuff. But yeah, I guess if you're do trying to do, like, a bestiary, sort of, like, fight every enemy, sort of, run, you would have to do a low-level game. Like, there'd be a few specialty reasons why you might want to do it. I just thought it was super neat that they built the game in such a way that if you do try to do it low-level, it, it feels like they really intended on you. Like, they, it really feels like they factored in the fact that you might want to do low-level to begin with to fight that one. But yeah, once I do the frog spec, you know, I can't be bothered to low level game it from there. Although after that, you can go to the. Well, I mean, once you get through Hecran's level. Or do you even have to? I th you might be able to even grind for the. Early game stuff in Medina Village. Yeah, as soon as you get to the end of time. Because you can talk to the news, and then... If you do it right on the Super Nintendo version, they'll run away, and you don't get any tech points or experience from them. I tried that with OG FF6 all the way up to the floating condom. I don't normally do like low level game challenges. I'm trying to think when I. Like any other instance where I may have. Hey, welcome back, Gabriel. Joachim, welcome back. How's there. 
Silver point accumulation going again. 120, let's get three more fights. Do two at a time, try to at least. So yeah, in case you're just joining, we're trying to get 11 cats for Chrono's house. We're at, like, 8 or 9 or so. Yeah, it can be frustrating, yeah, but if you know the game front and back, yeah, it helps for sure, but still brutal. I don't even think I've done that with Earthbound. I'm not, like, poo-pooing doing a low-level challenge, by all means. But yeah, it, it, having intricate knowledge of whatever game you're playing definitely helps a lot. Yeah, challenge run, yeah, it gives you an excuse to revisit some games. Don't have to do low-level run, yeah. Now with, like, Earthbound, I have done, like, original weapons and armor and, like, stuff like that. Mark Zuckerbot, no, this is a, this is just a wig. Like the, wearing a wig similar to what the main character here is wearing. Ryan Spross, um, well this playthrough we're at a little over 30 hours. We're really stopping and smelling the roses though, Com combined hundreds. I'm, I'm sure I've put hundreds of hours into it. I don't think it'd be thousands, but definitely hundreds. Any games give me bizarre dreams, probably. I actually can't think of any examples off the top of my head. And this game, I find, is the fastest way to get cat food. I think you might get more cat food if you're to do the 10-point game, but it just takes longer. Why am I eating this cheese, even though I'm lactose intolerant? You gotta get some of that lactose-free cheese. I mean, cheese is delicious. Never mind, like, I keep thinking about, like, I need to get some ice cream, but, like, I just, I haven't bought any in forever. Not sure why, I just haven't. I mean, right now I have, like, actual food in my freezer. I don't have, like, tons of space there. But... That's part of it. There's like these chocolate ice cream bars that I really like. It's just chocolate ice cream, but an ice cream bar. Nothing complicated, but I get the no-name variety and they're tasty. Favorite food? I, I really like spaghetti. But like poutine is really good too. It's fries with gravy, smothered, or uh, fries with cheese on it, smothered in gravy. What's going on, KJ? 
a little busy lurking a little while. Notice you were having trouble with the cats. Well, what I did was I uh, I got the 11 cats. And then after I got the 11 cats, I went ahead and I got all the clones and the do the music dolls for the other party members. And since I did that after getting 11 cats and not sufficient cat food, I had a few of the cats run away. Because I misunderstood how the the cat food depletes. So we lost some cats because of that, so I'm working to get some of them back before I finish the game off. Which is just as well, because I was thinking the stream was going to end early, but now it it won't really. So yeah, apparently the you lose cats if you enter the area where, like, the race is and the Norstein Beckler's tent area is. That alone will lower uh, the food count. I thought it only lowered if I exited or entered the area through the front. But it's if you enter or exit, or at least enter the area at all. That was just a mistake I made. I could have gotten a little extra cat food, but I didn't. But no matter. Yeah, Gabe Windsor. I'm from Canada, too. Yeah, Putin's great. I need to just get some cheese. I have fries and gravy here. I just need the the cheese part, and I can make another one. Hey, Miss 2003. Yeah, still playing Chrono. Probably going to play it the rest of the week still. Get New Game Plus stuff. Yeah, basically better to get clones and dolls before cats. That's what it seems like to me. Moral of the story. I'm also trying to make sure I have 160 silver points per trip. I don't know if it counts when I leave Norstein Beckler's tent or not. If it does, it's not really any different, I guess. But We'll see. So I'm just gonna... Once it's at the end of the hour, I'll check up on the cat progress again. I think the stream will end more or less when I would normally end the stream, so that works for me. Yeah, really make me pull a triple shift in the cat food mines this playthrough, big time. Yeah, homemade's the best, definitely. Yeah, cheese curds is the... Uh, the preferred uh, cheese for a poutine. I think... As far as I'm concerned, if you have fries, cheese, and gravy, that's a putin. Uh, but some people are purist about it with the cheese curds. I have no problem with cheese curds, don't get me wrong, but like... It's just easier to get shredded cheese. I don't have to go to a deli, you can get like more cheese. For like the same price, so it's like fine by me. But yeah, cheese curds if you want to have like the true... Putin experience. What happens when someone reports or blocks you? I have no idea. If they block you, you don't see their messages anymore. If you report them, I don't know. Cole Romero, what's happening? Are you a Jitalang or a Futa Tuojin? I don't know what either of those are. Made with just mozzarella cheese and gravy. Hey, right on. Tastes pretty similar. But yeah, I just need to get some more shredded cheese and I can make another one for myself. Not sure what I'm going to have when the stream's over. I could make spaghetti. We'll see. I have plenty of food here, I just... Depends what I want. Oh, how many fights is that? We're at 115, I thought. Okay. Good.
But on the plus side, I think the cats do at least come back if you replenish the food in the bowl. Hey, thanks, Sneaky Bug. Yeah, no beard hire, and the thumbnail has something else. Yeah, then people get a chance to see what I look like without a beard, and I don't even have to shave. You can just see my old, uh, picture. Oh, yeah, some items in Castlevania Event of Innocent is a pasta dish called Neapolitan, really. Spaghetti sautéed on ketchup, really? It's a popular thing in Japan. Hey, Angelina, how you doing tonight? Yeah, it's the first Chrono Harvey yeah, in beard mode, yeah. I think it's superior to beardless, personally, yeah, but I am biased. I mean, it might come across better bearded. I'm just usually fairly purist when it comes to, like, cosplay. Like, that's normally why I would shave, because I'm like, well, Chrono doesn't have a beard, so I'm not gonna shave. But... I just wasn't ready to part the with the beard this time, and I wanted to stream this because it's Oriyama, so... It is what it is. Zayo true. I like Shining Force. I like Shining the first Shining Force. A lot. Second one's good too. It's just just the way that the first one was streamlined, I just I liked it. Never played the third one though. So we'll probably get another two more helpings of cat food. I'm not sure how deep we are even in this. How many more we'll have to collect. I mean, for all I know, this is enough. I haven't been counting at all. Which I assume makes it faster. Hey, thank you. Hair somehow suits you. Actually looks good and not goofy. Thank you. I tried to at least do it so it was pretty well accurate for the game, so that probably helps a bit. Like, it is spiky, but it's not, like, extra, extra long or anything. Yeah, how, yeah, how deep does the cat spirit, cat spiracy rabbit hole go? Good question. Yeah, I just thought the whole cat running away thing was just from, uh... I've never noticed cats running before. I assume that was just kind of foreshadowing for when they run through the portal, but apparently not. Yeah, Jesse Venture. How deep does the cat spiracy rabbit hole go? My Jesse Ventura impression is rusty. I haven't listened to him speak in a while. Hey, thank you for the... The chrono emoji? Valiant Hearts? What's that for? Is that on Steam? Valiant Hearts? Does he really carry and cross as an insanely on point Ventura of impression? I wouldn't have expected though. We're gonna go to bed now. Alright, Gabriel Peterson, thanks for stopping in. Have a good night. Oh, a WW1 game. Got it. Okay, it was Chris Van F Chris Van Fleet. Where was it? on YouTube? Yeah, where he does it. The fellas. I know who you mean. I just hadn't heard it. There's something about Carrion Cross. Like he looks like the nicest guy. They have him playing as though he's like the satanic like, kind of character, but every time I see him, I'm like, this, he's such a nice guy. He has to be a nice guy. I don't know what it is about him. He has, like, just, he's has, like, an unassuming face. Maybe it's just me.
Oh, has bell pepper, onion, mushroom, sausage, and bacon, too. Oh, he has the cadence, the harp, <laughs> the thermo thermite paint references, <laughs> all of it. He was a fan of the Jesse Ventura conspiracy theory by the sounds of it. I used to watch them. Last I heard of Ventura, he was off the grid. And that was just kind of the last I had heard. Frog leveled up against Gato. You know we've been here fighting for a long time when Gato levels you up. He gives you 10 experience points. Chrono is 530 Gato fights away from another level. 531, I guess. Montclair Bullying, how you doing? Hey, thank you. Happy 21k subscriber count. Can now legally drink in the States. Yes. Calls for a cel calls for a celebration. <laughs> yeah, I think watching a character level up against Gato physically aged me. It's like watching paint dry, but like more tedious. Yeah, 21k. Yeah, Blackjack. Drink in the States, Blackjack. Nice level up. Yeah, you did it. 160 for me. Rewatched The Sopranos recently. All of a sudden, Jesse Ventura oh, was on it. Didn't remember he was on that show. It was a no, I had no idea. I never watched The Sopranos. I maybe saw like an episode or two. I heard it was really good. Just didn't follow it for some reason. Yeah, our Fleming. Thank you, thank you. For two times on the job, I had to sit all day and watch cement dry. My mind literally went numb. I'm sure. Like, if your job is literally watching cement dry. I assume there can be, like... Weirdness happens with it. Oh, greatest prestige drama ever made. Also funnier than most actual comedy. I forget when it came out. I just, yeah, just didn't follow it for some reason. Because I did used to watch a fair amount of TV. It's kind of once I hit like 20 or so, I didn't watch TV as much. Uh, worth investing in from the start via good old DVD set. 90, I mean, that's a lot of watching for sure. 99, yeah, 99 to 07. Yeah, let's do a, let's do a cat checkup. Well, I've been here since you're playing Yoshi's Island, yeah. Yeah, before 20k. That probably would have been around like 18k or something. It's been a lot of growth lately. It's crazy. See how far we can get. Wonder if I'll wind up with the play button now. I never thought it would ever be possible, but now it's like, maybe. If this keeps up, maybe. I don't want to get my heart set on it, but like, maybe. Oh, he's joking around, okay. Is there a guy that looks like, Ven looks like Ventura? Okay, we're back to, okay, we're back to 10 cats. How many more, how many left? 83 ounces of cat food. Okay, I need to do at least four. I should do maybe six more of those games to be safe. Just so there's extra cat food so that it, on the off chance they run away. Again. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's part of it, too, the consistency. 
And like, to be honest, I've been kind of... I mean, you might not feel this way watching me, but like, in all honesty, I have been slacking off this past month. Because there's a few days where it's like, I could stream or I could go out. Or like, I could stream, but I just want to not stream tonight. Like, if I streamed every opportunity that I could have, I'd probably be at, like, 23, if not, like, 24,000 by now, but, like... I don't know, I also kind of just want to... I still want to live my life, you know? I understand the gravity of the situation and, like, for the YouTube growth, but, like... I don't know, I still want to enjoy the journey. Other IRL things I also like doing. I mean, I like YouTube a lot, but like... I also like having a life outside of it. Right, yeah, also, it's important not to burn myself out. Well, now it's a little harder, because before I was like, well, Satur Friday, Saturday, I'm not going to stream. But lately I have been, because those have been very busy days. So it's worth it to me to try to stream those days. I mean, I'll, I'll push as hard as I can. And, like, I think I really do need to focus up and, like, make sure I do Undertale stuff on the weekend. I got so many views last night, it was crazy. I streamed for like... You know, it's silly to say that a 6 hour stream is short, but like... I mean, compared to like a 10 or 11 hour stream. Just gotta keep the pressure on with this stuff. Hey, have a good night, 31 Gundam. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, no way, yeah. Is sustainable. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, try not to burn out. I've been meaning to start streaming earlier in the day, too, but I'm like, I just don't... I just can't. I just can't. Just resting when I can. I'm still kind of adjusting to the new workflow, too, so, like, I think once I get properly adjusted, I'll be... Be streaming a bit more. And once I get, like, more of the... Like, I still want to do widescreen stuff, because, like... There is value in it, but, like... I should really be focusing 80 to 90% of my efforts on the short shelf right now. But I still want to play through Rebirth. I'm going to play through Ayudan Chronicles. In widescreen. After that, I don't know. Like, I kind of want to a thousand year door, but. That's actually a really tough one for me. Maybe I'll just play the original GameCube one and just. Because I have it and just c consider it done. My high score viewer. Oh, uh, for concurrent viewers last night on the. Viewer facing side, it said it was over 400. I saw it say over 400. But in the YouTube back end, it said that my max concurrent rate last night was 395. Which, for reference, my record before that was, you know, a couple weeks ago, and it was 290. So, like, that's crazy. I got so many people to be watching at once. I mean, it's crazy having, like, over a hundred. I'm used to streaming for, like, you know, on a good night, having, like, 30 concurrent viewers, so, like, this is crazy for me. It's a hell of an adrenaline rush, let me tell you. Yeah, I like widescreen, too, but, like, I just can't... You know, the audience is here, so, like, you know... You go where the growth is. Yeah, Black Omen. Definitely a good final dungeon. Yeah, being a streamer isn't easy all the time. 
Yeah, streaming, it's like one of those things. Like, yeah, it's not like all roses and rainbows, but like, it's not like I'd rather be doing a hard labor job either, or else I would just do that instead, right? If it's like that hard. Like, if I would rather just work, then, you know, do that. But like, yeah, there is struggles with it, for sure. Because, I mean, some days, you know, you want to be on and you want to be, you know, energetic for a stream, but you don't, you just don't have the energy that day or, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, it's also my space. If I want to stream for 23 minutes and log off, I'm allowed to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, seeing the Breath of Fire 2 shorts, hell yeah. I'm glad I was able to drive people to my main channel through, like, those shorts. You know, whether it be Earthbound, Breath of Fire, Suikoden, Mario RPG, like, it's great. It has helped with my main live stream stuff. As soon as I heard about these live streams showing up on the short shelf, I'm like, I have to do it. Like, I already have a shorts presence. Like, if anyone has to do this, it's me. And it's been working, so keep at it. No, shorts don't make anywhere near the same amount of money. Same with, like, these live stream, like, the vertical live streams. I get, like, no ad revenue from it. I get some, like, YouTube premium revenue. But, like, ad revenue is, like, pretty much zero. But I get so much traffic, I don't care. But don't get me wrong, I would love it if I was getting, like, 30 bucks a week in ad revenue. That'd be sick. Or, I'm sorry, 30 bucks a stream, rather. Like, if I'm getting 30,000 views on a live stream, if that was monetized like a regular YouTube live stream, like, that'd be bonkers. Like, I could... That would be, like, the difference between me, ha like, having to have a day job or not. But, I mean, you know, one step at a time. I need to work on finding a sponsor. Is what I need to do. Yeah, honestly, yeah, they're all good for, yeah. Yeah, Google, yeah, won't let you profit off them directly. Yeah, it's like bait on a fishing hook. Kind of thing. Like, that's why I, I like to mention how I do widescreen streams, too, because, like... I mean, it's a little different with the short streams, because, like... Some people just stay on the short shelf, that's just where they're happy, and... Whether you're subscribed or not, it doesn't really matter, that, like, that's just where they're gonna go. But anyway. Oh, hey, thanks, R. Fleming. Roping in a premium member for you, hell yeah. Yeah, get sponsored. Chrono Harvey out here, yeah, spreading his Chrono babies, yeah, with all that YouTube chatter. Yeah, really, though. Yeah. Well, like, shorts weren't monetized at all at first. So, like, now they're at least somewhat monetized. But no, for, like, 100,000 shorts views, I'll get, like... Five bucks, ten bucks. It's negligible. Ah, uh, but if, if that ever changes, though, and I can keep this, uh, these views coming, then who's the say? Uh... I mean, if I carve myself a nice little spot into YouTube Shorts live streams, then fine by me. If that's where YouTube decides I belong, great. Happy to be here. Lakuya, how you doing? One thing I heard is some types of contracts or sponsors can depend. Yes. Hope you could be able to pick whatever's best for you. I think that'd be part of my problem. Like, I'm going to be very picky about a sponsor. I want it to be something I actually use. 
But I mean, if some random company offers me like six grand to like shell their stuff, I don't know what to tell you. We'll find out then. Yo, Scud, thank you for the five dollar super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, live your dreams, yeah, gamer subs. Oh, seems to be on an unconventional sponsorship campaign recently. Oh, okay. Gamer subs. I mean, I could look into them. Seen them give a few follower, few smaller channels a chance. Hey, I appreciate the, the input, Scud. I could look into them. Yeah, still a chance to show their energy power in an official capacity. I mean, I like energy drink stuff, so like, I don't know. I could try their product if I like it and they're interested, then... Could be worth it. Yeah, you, d you just never know, Cactus. I was getting kind of despondent with YouTube, and then it's like, you know, next thing you know, this happened. Hey, Azenius, thank you for the $10 super chat, my man. Appreciate it. No, what did I do? No. No. Cancel. I'm trying to like your... Trying to love your super chat here. And it's like, do you want to report this u- No, I don't want to report this user. Thank you so much, Azenius. I appreciate it, big time. But yeah, it's been a- it's been a wild ride the past, like... Month or two. It's been a roller coaster for sure. Yeah, wired. I keep that super train rolling. Yeah, th appreciate it. But I mean, you also got to bear in mind too. Like I, like so many more people are like coming by the streams. Like I do get more donations and stuff because of that. So like it's not, it's not nothing. You know, in addition to the views and the likes and the subscribes and everything. Everything's been up. Yeah, Lyard Gang. Well, that's part of it, too, when you're in the short shelf. You just get... You get a lot more troll comments. It's part of it. That's one of the things I've actually had the most trouble adjusting to, to be honest. If I'm honestly being honest with you right now. Like, I'm used to some trolling. I don't mind, you know, someone does a drive-by heckle and I'll just, like, drive-by heckle them back. And, you know, that's just kind of it. But, you know, sometimes it's just, it's a lot. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Kodo, yeah. Well, I mean, it hasn't happened to me yet, thankfully, but I've definitely seen Super Chats that, like, are at least worthy of being deleted. Because, you know, 999 times out of a thousand, whatever you write in a Super Chat, I'll read, Billy. You know, if it's certain things that I'm obviously not going to read, then I'm just not, you're not gonna, like, bribery me into it. If it's something I wouldn't say for free, I'm not gonna say it for like, you know, two bucks or whatever. Top Hat VR, what's happening? YouTube really needs to make it more obvious how you like. Well, I mean, maybe they don't. Need to make it more obvious how to like on a short stream. But maybe they don't. Because like now, I. I just, I don't really know for sure, but I have to assume that, um, leaving a like on a short vertical live stream probably carries more weight, because, you know, there's just fewer likes to go around for them. Because, like, even if I get, like, 30,000 views on a vertical live stream, I might get, like, 100 likes. But, like, what if I were to get 200? Would I get way more viewership? Would it even matter? I don't know. I just can't help but feel like it's a little secondary to everything if I'm getting, like, thousands of views anyway. But I don't know. Maybe that's how you get to the next level with it. I couldn't tell you. What's going on, Simple Man? Yeah, silly use of money. You had to do a super chat to troll. I mean, some people will do it. Yeah, most people just troll for free. 
Or if it's like a thing that, you know, the streamer's into and it's sort of like an end gag type of deal. Like, there's stuff like that. Yeah, likes are an internal battle of uncertainty. Yeah, YouTube is tame compared to Twitch. You know, some of those donations, yeah, and read out loud, yeah, by AI. That's part of the reason why I don't like having an AI, like, auto-reader for text. In case I do need to... ...not read something out loud. I didn't have someone pay to troll, but there was, like, a sex bot type... It was either a sex bot or, like, a person for, like, a porn site. They posted... They did four $2 super chats with, like, some telephone number. It's like, thanks for the super chats, but, like, no. I don't think this is a good use of your super chatter. Thanks, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just some chill grinding before the finale. Yeah, liking on shorts isn't as straightforward. No, not even close. If you're on a desktop, it's okay, but you gotta click the three dots. Yeah, it should be on the main screen. But it might be one of those things where likes don't, like, just aren't as affected through shorts in general. Like, it might just not be as weighted as heavily of a metric with shorts. I don't know. I haven't looked at any of this stuff. I'm just it's all speculating. Yeah, Super Chat's read by generic text to speak. Yeah, drives me crazy. <laughs> Mexican Andy and the donations that would be read by the program. I'm guessing this was, like, very inappropriate things being read off. I mean, like, I'm no prude, like, I'll swear, but, like, you know, there's some stuff that's just not, not really needed. Stuff I don't really need to repeat here. I understand and accept these things are said, but, like, I don't need to signal boost it, you know. Especially because I know YouTube also doesn't like it. Gotta watch myself a little bit nowadays. I mean, the more I grow, the more I gotta watch my ass with stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what I was figuring, Cactus. Oh, if you don't mind me asking, is there any different in payout by YouTube between Vertical Live and Normal Live? Technically, no. Like, I think what you're asking is, like... For example, like, would a Super Chat on Vertical Live... Would the cut be the same as, like, a donation on a regular widescreen live? If that's what you're asking, then as far as I'm aware, yes. But, like, ad revenue for a vertical live is virtually non-existent. So far. But, like I said, we're getting so much more viewership and subscribers and everything that, like, I don't care. It's really exciting to... You know, to get, like, 10,000 views on a live stream instead of, like, 300, you know? But like I said, there's still value for a widescreen stream. There's even still value for having streams that just aren't as boosted. Because, like, a widescreen stream, it feels more, like, it's a little cozier. It's not as hard to keep up with the chat and stuff, so... And you can kind of get into more, like, personal... Not necessarily personal, but just, like... Certain topics, it's easier to just get into in a quieter stream. Oh, yeah, asking about ads, yeah. Yeah, for vertical streams, the ad revenue is virtually zero right now. Like, with uh, YouTube Premium, that appears to still pay out the same. But ad revenue, yeah, pretty much zero. But yeah, like a two to three hundred view widescreen stream would probably get more ad revenue than like a ten thousand view short stream. As far as ads are concerned. Right, yeah. 
Big thing now, AI, a celebrity, uh, using celebrity or character voices. Yeah, the things you can make Goku say. Yeah, I love Suikoda. Yeah, kind of respect. Well, yeah, if you do, like, a text-to-speech that's, like, unique. I understand if it's just, like, you know, Microsoft Bob or whatever. It's like, that's kind of... At least, you know, at least customize it a little bit. I get that. There, we'll do two more of these. Then we'll check up on the cats again. Well, cats up with the cats. Yeah, chat has different rules. Yes, in my experience. Yeah, like, I, I generally put up with a little less on a vertical live stream. I don't have the same, like, brain capacity to, like... You know, break someone in, for lack of a better term, than I do on, like, a regular widescreen stream. I just can't... I can't give everyone the same amount of undivided attention with Vertical Life. I'm lucky to respond to all the comments, try as I might. What's up, Cactus? Prof Bentley, welcome to the chat. Don't even have the brain capacity to play this game. Last part I remember being at was a forest. Ah, some kind of goblin killed me. I forget what forest that is. Maybe that was like the Guardia Forest. But no, sometimes it's just, uh, you know. Some games you just don't jive with. Like, I have... I've played Zelda games, but like... Most Zelda games, it's a real struggle for me to get through. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there was an AI of me at some point. Especially if I keep growing, I feel like it's an inevitability. Yeah, way early in the game. Yeah, 22 more days till I eat in Chronicles. I need to play the beta a little bit. I have access to the beta. I just haven't had the time to sink my teeth into it at all. But I mean, the main game will be out and I'll be streaming it then, so... It's kind of a whatever I go. I think part of me is afraid that I'll stream the beta and not like it for some reason. And part of that being, like, something just isn't tweaked properly in the beta. I'm a little res reserved for that, I guess, but it might be ill-conceived uh, worry. Oh, yeah, somewhat after. Okay, they took your friend mistaking her. Gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, not too far in. Yeah, AI used to be, yeah, like a fun, sort of just unassuming thing. Now it's like... I actually kind of got to worry about... Yeah, I'm going to be streaming Ayudin Chronicles. Don't worry about that. I just... They would prefer that you don't stream, like, the beta. So, like, I haven't... That's the main reason I haven't played or streamed it or anything. But once it's out, we're set. There, we got all the kitties again. All 11 cats, even Alphador, the purple cat. The purple kitty. How many... How many foods are left? Three ounces. We need more foods for the cats. I don't want them to run away yet again. <clears throat> We're almost there, though. So long as we don't go into the Norstein Beckler area, I think we're okay. But let's just be sure. Not in that big of a hurry here. We have one more thing of the Black Omen to run through. Then the finale. Then we'll end the stream around the time we normally would anyway. So we good. Yeah, Lakuya, definitely. Yeah, Purple Kitty. Yeah, no, that is the dangerous part of the... Oh, got a PS5 today. Congrats, Koda. Any recommendations? <laughs> it's funny that you asked me that. Like, I should have any, but, like... I mean, I forget how our into, like, Dark Souls stuff you are. I know they have, like, the reformed Demon Souls. I was having fun with Horizon Forbidden West. It's like an open world thing, but like, I was having a tough time streaming it. I mean, of course, there's the, you know, the Final Fantasy remake stuff. If there, that tickles you at all. Uh, the 
The Yakuza JRPG, I like that a lot. I stopped playing it, but I do. It was good, I thought. Yeah, Scud, it was 11. We only had three extra ounces of cat food left over, though, so I'm getting some extra. Just in the hopes that none of the cats will run away this time. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah, chat reflects the streamer. Yeah, I've heard that if possible. Try to super chat on YouTube. Oh, not on iPhone, at least. Oh, yeah, since Apple takes an extra cut. I think it just costs more to donate on, like, Apple products. I could be wrong, though. But yeah, there is something to that. Like, a, a stream chat does reflect the streamer to some degree. Like, you reap what you sow and all of that. So I think I'm doing all right. Hey, Rusty, how you doing? Yeah, hell yeah. Nice to see Harv getting so many viewers. Feels great, man. Never really thought I'd see the day. It was just kind of one of those things, like, you know, keep grinding for the future. But it's like, holy crap, like, is, is the future here now? Just gonna keep at it. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, so earlier, Scud, I did have a couple of the cats run away. Because when you enter and exit the the area where Norstein Beckler's tent is, like where the fountain is and stuff, if you don't have cat food when you enter that area, cats can run away. And that happened to me this playthrough, because I, I got all the cats, had like four ounces of cat food left over, then got clones and music dolls for everybody. So because I went in that area a bunch with no cat food, I had some of the cats run away. Uh, but they come back. We got all the cats back, but I'm just making sure I have excess cat food. Uh, just in case. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, Core Lard community are great people, I'm. I love chatting with y'all. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, totally, Rusty. Hit 21,000 subscribers, like... What, was I even at 16,000 in November? Like, this has been crazy. Like, when I first started to take off with shorts, that was like a similar, like, growth spurt. I think right now, this is like the most subscribers I've ever gotten in, like, this time period. Yeah, I haven't seen Tenebro Soul in a while either, like... He might- like, I don't know, I'm just speculating. Like, I'm not knocking him or anything. Don't misunderstand me. I don't know if, like, the vertical streams, like, they might mess with them a little bit. Because, I mean, they're not, they're not, uh, great for everybody. And I know he was telling me there was, like, something weird with my audio that was happening that was, like, bugging him, but it was, it was hard to, it was hard to pinpoint, like, what the problem was or if it had been fixed. Anyway, I don't know. Hopefully he's okay. Nothing personal. Oh, yeah, I gotta get the excess of cat food. Yeah, that's cats for you. You don't want to see the bottom of the dish or they'll run away. Yeah, good thing they come back, though. Gerbelderble, how you doing? Yeah, just scroll to see a bro in a wig talking about cat food, yeah. Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. We can get, get cat food in the game, get 11 cats. It doesn't do anything other than I feel like it. That's where we're at. Then we're going to beat the game. Yeah, Randall still pop in every so often, but he's been less active. Hey, thanks, R. Fleming. Right, right lately, I've been trying to pick kind of like my all-time favorite games, for the most part, to stream. Like, I mean, I'm doing Undertale stuff, too, which... Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Undertale and Deltarune. It's just like... It hasn't been burrowed into my brain as long as, like, Chrono Trigger and Earthbound and stuff. And, like, the fan games and stuff. But I still have all the Breath of Fire to play, like, Suikoden 1 and 2. I feel like I have full reign to kind of revisit anything I ever streamed, so... I mean, I can always stream whatever I want whenever I want, I get that, but... I usually like to make a stream a little different if I, in some way, and this is definitely some way. I'll take it. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not really obvious that you can get a bunch of cats for Kronos House. 
Like, most people would be like, oh, you can get two cats? Great. Neat. And, like, that's it. But no, you can get up to 11. Why? Who knows? But you can. Oh, cats, oh, they're nearsighted, so sometimes if they can't smell the food, well, oh, they can't see it. I see. They don't, there's food there, they don't smell it, so they're like, why is my dish empty? That makes sense. Take this chicken dinner as well. Feed ourselves. Great. We'll get two more things of cat food. Arguably don't even need those, but, like, let's just get them to be safe. And go to the Black Omen again and wrap this up. I need to try to remember to bring Magus to the final boss, though. Or not the final boss, but for Zeal again. One thing I have learned from doing the vertical streams, though, is that, like, if I'm playing something and I don't want a spoiler, don't do a vertical stream of it. Just don't. Because it'll, it, stuff will just get spoiled. And you just kind of, you just got to kind of accept that, that that's going to happen. Like with Amori, for example, like I, uh, I had like one of the main things in the game spoiled for me to begin with, but like, and I don't know, maybe it's kind of like an obvious thing anyway, and it's not really a spoiler, really, but. Anyway. I definitely would have known if I hadn't known already. Oh yeah, this isn't the most exciting thing to do, but like, I'm just, you know, just playing Chrono Trigger, chatting. I mean, it's in the background, chatting with the chat and stuff. It's kind of good just, like I said, for chatting. Because if I'm doing something too involved, it's like, well, I gotta pay attention to the game, not look at the stream, but something like this is pretty casual, so. We can still get those Chrono Trigger vibes, but... Uh, be a little more interactive as I do it. Yeah, nah, it's okay. It's just one of those things are Fleming. Right, yeah, you'd have to put no spoiler in the chat, please, in the title of the stream or something. Yeah, probably still wouldn't help. I don't, I don't think it would. The title is kind of obfuscated in these streams, too, so, like... Kitties. Well, I got all the kitties. There's six kitties downstairs. Kind of just like the big reveal at the end. Basically that. 48 ounces of cat food. Tons. Yeah. We're set. Let's save the game after four hours of gameplay. There. Black Omen time. 12,000 BC. I gotta remember to switch over to Magus for the final boss, though. Well, I don't... Or, I mean, for Queen Zeal. We'll try to remember. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind telling people I'm playing Chrono Trigger. It's, you know... People are curious what this game is. I want them to know it's Chrono Trigger. It's one of my all-time favorites. I don't mind. I gotta wonder how, like, watching VODs for this game must be like, though. Or, like, watching VODs of me, uh... Wait a second. I'll make this easier on myself. I'll find the Black Omen easier in the future. Yeah, pretty much, as any is. But yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people who have like heard of Chrono Trigger, but never has ne also never seen it. So, like... why is the Black Omen missing? Am I crazy? No, that makes sense. 
because they destroyed it in a thousand and six hundred, not twelve thousand. It should be around here though, then, right? In twelve thousand. Yeah, there it is. Found it. Yeah, exactly. Chrono Trigger is one of the most universally recognized and loved titles in all video game history by now, just like we always knew, yeah, when we played in 95. I don't think Chrono's mom has any different, uh, dialogue about having so many cats. Oh, obfuscated, yeah. I'll bust out a fancy word every so often. But no, that's just like one of those things. If I ever decide to play a game for the first time in vertical format, I'll just understand there'll be it'll be spoiled, and that's just fine. Oh, we gotta we gotta fix some stuff up here. Yeah, imagine storming the Black Omen with all eleven cats. That should make Ayla's cat attack catastrophic. Would have been neat if there was like an attack chrono hat or something that increased by more the more cats he had or anything. We have the battle speed on max, but like I don't know, let's try it. I, I want the gold stud right now. Yeah, get your plates ready. Yeah. Yeah. They can't Luminaire these guys, they're immune to lightning. Yeah, Hidden Cat, Triple Tuck. But yeah, I am still thinking about playing through another Amori playthrough. I don't think I'll do it on the weekend this time, though. I think I'll just play it during the week. I think I need to try to keep weekend stuff like Deltarune and Undertale related as much as I can. I still want to try in Stars and Time in that format on the weekend, Billy. Like, that's about that's about the only exception. Oh, is diaper dogs? Yeah, instead of the diamond dogs from Earthbound Slash. Isn't that like a David Bowie song? Yeah, this isn't a bad place to grind. Yeah, use the ZSNES, yeah, or 9S. 9X. Yeah, Falcon Hit is a great tuck. Chrono and Ayla have a pretty good, like, double tech chemistry. Yeah, it's got to be top three for me, if not top. It's definitely up there. Yeah, final kick, yeah. Only weak, just you need Marl. Yeah, fast forward going, baby. Oh yeah, we could definitely, like, fast forward, too. I usually don't like... If I'm emulating a game, I usually don't like to use fast forward while I'm streaming. Like, I mean, I have, but, like, I usually prefer not to. Uh, I mean, it happens, Zan. Don't worry about it too much. I mean, it's a lot of, a lot of comments to sift through. Right, yeah, but Ayla, yeah, can solo the game, yeah, pretty much herself, so it's fine. 
Oh yeah, I'm not above save states or fast forward or anything. I just think, like, usually if I'm streaming, the logic is... If I fast forward, then the stream's gonna be shorter, so, like, why would I do that to myself? Unless it's something, like, really tedious. Or if it's, like, a re-release with, with fast forward, I'm more likely to use that because it also doesn't ruin the music quality. Because, like, take a Final Fantasy, for example. Like, you can do, like, times three speed, but the music won't be times three. So it doesn't affect, like, the experience the same. I mean, do whatever, really. Like I said, I, I have done these things. I'm not above it. Right, yeah, it's gonna happen now and then. Yeah, Luminaire is pretty handy. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, with proper magic care for Krona. Uh, I should probably double check to see if there's any tabs left over. No, you come to think of it. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy V. The only time I ever streamed it was with the very first tag team live stream with Karma Jolt. I have half a mind to play through all the pixel remasters because you can put them into 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So it'll just, it'll look okay in this vertical format. But yeah, five super good. I think five's underrated. Just attack. <clears throat> I am, yeah, overdue for a legit FF5 playthrough. Big time. Big time. Am I ever? Yeah, Chrono crit hit. Yeah, never gets old. You know a YouTuber that said they specifically don't use Final Fantasy. It was for viewers, the interrupted sped up music. Oh, fast forward. Yeah, for the interrupted sped up music can be irritating to some people. Yeah, 4, 5, and 6, yeah, we're all great for different reasons, I agree. Yeah, 5's a great game. <clears throat> but probably once I get through, like, all the Suicoden stuff and, like, Breath of Fire, I'll probably start to turn towards Final Fantasy. So I figure by the time I get through Final Fantasy VII vertically, it'll be about time for me to play Aiden Chronicles. Which I want to do in concert with Suicoden 1 then 2. Aiden Chronicles is getting widescreen. But I assume it also won't be, like, insanely long. Like, it'll probably wind up being, like, a 50-hour playthrough. I could be wrong, but, like, I'm assuming. And it'll probably take more than one playthrough to get all the characters, because... That's... That's a Suikoden-like game for you. Hard to find everything. Oh, yeah, like when RPGs, yeah, use a character class in the story, yeah. Yeah, 4 was fantastic at that. Yeah, so many good streams coming up. Oh, yeah, we're hitting, kind of hitting all the greatest hits again. Except this time I'd like to actually touch on stuff like Brave Friends and Musashi or, like, Threads of Fate. I have a few classics I've never streamed that I think are long overdue.
Hey, thanks, Jackie. Glad you liked the hair here. Yeah, oh yeah, you get pretty high level super early. Or, I mean, you can get max HP, MP pretty early if you... You know, around level 60 or so. Char great text, what's happened? Does character positioning matter in this game or no? Technically, there's not a lot you can do about the character positioning, though. You're just kind of more or less stuck where you're put. I think this game could have benefited from you being able to, like, move your characters around, like, in battle. Because it would help avoid certain, like, counterattacks and stuff. But... It felt like they were kind of gearing up to have positioning be more important than this in this game, and then it just didn't wind up being terribly important. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Kafka. Probably my favorite villain, in uh, Final Fantasy at least. Like, clearly not a good guy, but he's like just so over-the-top evil, it's just like, I can't help but enjoy it. Like, the only thing he doesn't do is actually, like, tie, like, someone's wife to train tracks. While twirling his mustache. Right, yeah, some enemies can reposition you, yeah. It just makes Ayla's attack, like, the Dino Tail seem weird, because it's like, oh, here's this attack I can't use unless it's, like, very specific circumstances. There might be ways you can move stuff around a little bit that I'm forgetting, but, like, I don't believe so. Yeah, Kafka wants to be Carnage from Spider-Man, kinda. Yeah. Oh yeah, and how, like, kind of successful Kafka was as a villain? Also kinda lends credence to it all, I think. So we already took out first form Alavos, so at least that will be quick. Once we get through the zeals, I need to get... I just keep saying it out loud, I need to swap Magus into the party, but I want to level these characters up. I mean, honestly, I should probably swap Ayla out. Now. Because she's not going to be useful at all if I do decide to fight new Specchio. She's just helpful to have. Ah, uh, so never mind. We'll just forge ahead. But yeah, this tubster here keeps respawning. That reminds me. How are my tabs doing? Yeah, Ayla's almost full, atta full attack power. Oh yeah, I don't even have the right weapon on Chrono. I took, put the slasher 2 on him because I didn't want him critting Gato because it slowed the process down a little bit there. That's funny. Everyone else's stuff proper. Lee vest I don't need on you either. Just give you the hero medal, at least. Actually, we'll give you the prism specs. There. Yeah, for, well, power meal. Yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah, three power tabs. I mean, give them to Frog, I guess. Crown will be max level after a couple new game pluses anyway. Speed tab, I could give to someone. Magic tab, Chrono can eat it. Be good. Organize. Ian, how you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, lots of... Yeah, lots of not great stuff that Kefka did. Cats are cool, how you doing? Yeah, Dark Soul, this is our third trip through the Omen. We just collected 11 cats for Chrono. I'm trying to remember to have Magus for the Queen Zeal fight. I keep saying it out loud, so I'll remember. I just want to have Ayla for this trip, because she just makes it a little smoother for me. There we go, Froggy. Frog, get about it. Did you steal effectively? I didn't pay attention. Welcome back, Joaquin. Oh, I got an elixir. I don't know. Maxed out speed by charming them wall panels. Yeah, I, uh, I went through all of that. I got all those speed panels. I'm still short a little bit. Yeah, Marl and Luca are... Speed isn't maxed out, but... We're a lot of the way there. Let me get the power tab. There you go, Frog. I'll give you another one. But yeah, that... Uh, that tub still respawns, I guess. So you can grind power tabs to your content if you want. Oh, Speedy, he's all cuddled up next to me here. Being all cat-like. Max speed. Uh, 16 speed, I think, is max. Speed tabs actually go a long way in that respect. Hey, thanks, Ian, for coming back watching still. Yeah, Ayla all the way, Ayla. She's my favorite. I bet, yeah, if you max out Frog's heal, his, uh... Or max out his magic, his heal is pretty strong. I mean, it's a great group heal. And more of these Mega Elixirs, good to have tons of them. Frog, I have the Prism specs on him right now. There are four more Mega Elixirs, which are my favorite variety of Elixir. Yeah, I've been kind of... I mean, I used Marl for a bit this playthrough. I barely used Luca at all. Although I did use... Uh... I don't know what I'm trying to say. That was rude. Normally they get too distracted by each other to worry about me, but I got got there. But Ayla could Dino Tail. I will level her back up, though. Just use one of these 39 Mega Elixirs. There. Oh. She's got four. Uh, we're playing a game called Chrono Trigger today, Ian. Came out on the Super Nintendo, 1995. Yeah, what if you took a Mega Elixir and added Lard to it? It would do what it normally does, but it would also revive a dead party member to full health. Is what the Lard would assist with. I haven't really played Fire Emblem. I paid, played Path of, Ra Path of Radiance. Uh, but it was the first one I played and the permadeath turned me off. More recently, and by recently I mean, like, four or five years ago. I played through the Famicom one. I forget what it's called. I didn't play through it, excuse me. I played it at all. And I liked what I saw, but I didn't stick with it. 
I could see myself getting into Fire Emblem, I just haven't. That sounds appropriate, yes. Oh yeah, Falcon Tet, very, uh, very useful. Ray OP. Yeah, I did know that in, at least in later Fire Emblem installments, you can turn permadeath off. I think in other Fire Emblems, too, you can also just, uh, like, it lets you save every turn if you want. So, like, if you think you're in a turn that's you didn't box yourself in, like, it's not so... I guess you could probably softlock yourself just as easily. But if I ever dig into the series, I'll have a better idea, I suppose. Right, yeah. I love the idea of Ayla summoning a freaking Tyrannosaurus Rex to whatever time period you're in. You know, she uses Dino Tail. Yeah, sure. But just let a dinosaur lose Guardia Castle. And then Frog will also just summon a big frog that he just knows that he's friends with. That also follows him around with time, different time periods. Uh, Fire Emblem 4 implements save every turn. Stream Dragon Quest games, aside from your tag team livestream of Game Boy Color. Yes, I've streamed Dragon Quest 1 and 2. I've also streamed Dragon Quest 8 and 11. As well as half of Dragon Quest 5 with Karma Jold as well. Yeah, great series. I need to... I still need to stream 5. It's been too long. Or 4, I mean. 4 is, like, my favorite. It's one of my favorites. Let's use the... Luminaire. Maybe. Don't even need to. Amanda! No, this is a wig. Yeah, the OG Super Famicom version, that's right. But it, you know, it was obviously a translate, like the fan translation. But yeah, the Super Famicom version. Yeah, my canon hair, yes. When I'm not covering it with a bandana. Hydraulic press it into my bandana. I guess these enemies don't respawn. Yeah, it's uh, Karma Jolt's turn to do his half of Dragon Warrior 3 whenever, you know, whenever he gets a chance. It's the thing we just sort of casually go through them until we get, you know, get all the way through. I can't even remember what I did my last episode. We need to switch out Ayla now, I think. Just for the... No, 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 not Ayla, you moron. We need to steal the prism dress. There. Because I want three prism dresses. It's kind of the reason we're even doing all this. This is fine. We're good. I'm not a huge fan of permadeath, but like, I don't know, Suikoden games have permadeath, and I'll just reset. It's not necessarily a huge deal, but... I guess we're a little ways away yet, but like, whatever. It's fine. 
Hey, thanks, Zan, for dropping the Discord link. If you're interested in Discord, I have one. Zan, just drop the Discord link in the chat. Feel free to join up. Have you on all night? Hell yeah, I fell asleep to you and you gotta lay down for this whole stream, though. Hey, no worries, Kaizo Serious. Enjoy the stream however you like. It doesn't... People tell me they fall asleep to my streams fairly regularly. I don't mind that at all. I mean, I stream for a long time and I stream late at night, so that's uh, makes sense to me. Yeah, no worries, Kaizo Serious, if you want. No pressure. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, what it is. Yeah, Mega Elixir's out the wazoo. Game Boy Color version of Dragon Quest 3 was among your first... Oh, really? RPG experiences as a kid. I mean, Dragon Quest 3 is a pretty good entry. And I mean, that's a pretty good entry of 3 in addition. A lot of people consider Dragon Quest 3 like the best in the series. I mean, I'm still working through half of it, so... I mean, it's good. I mean, if you like Dragon Quest, it's certainly that. Yeah. Tell them, love them life liquids. <clears throat> We're too far. I think this is <clears throat> where I really meant to swap out, but we'll save again. Whatever. Quarter mil in a little bit. Not bad. Yeah, here we are. But yeah, the sole reason I wanted to bring Magus to this fight is when you fight the Queen, it actually plays Magus's music instead of the regular boss music. I would just do that. Be right back. Sure thing, Ian. Only reset if the character is super cracked. Oh, Iron Man runs and Fire Emblem are pretty popular, even the blind ones. You just have to take the death. Right, right. Just part of the playthrough. Yeah, does Magus actually not get any bonus dialogue? It just plays his music? Or maybe it's for the last four. <clears throat> Mini Shadow Luminaire. I didn't steal your Mega Elixir, did I? I don't think it's going to matter, really. I already have 40, it's fine. Hey, we got one there anyway. I'll toss you into the Mammon machine. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Cover all the elemental bases here. Actually, I probably don't want to do that. Uh, triple kick. 
Oh yeah, the music in this game in general is just slaps. Maybe my favorite soundtrack in a video game ever. It's up there. If it's not top, it's top three. I'm not sure what I'd put above it. Chrono Cross's soundtrack is really good. I mean, like, I love Undertale's music, Undertale slash Deltarune, uh, Nier, Nier Automata, Nier Replicant, also really great soundtracks. How you doing there now, Ian? Welcome back. That was a good time to use a Mega Elixir. Actually, that's probably a bad time to use a Mega Elixir. Oh, Secret of Evermore. It has some good ambient sounds for sure. I haven't listened, like, listened, listened to the soundtrack in a while. Mateo Seguardo, welcome to the chat. How you doing? Oh, yeah, Pizza Tower. I've heard a lot about Pizza Tower. Or just that I should play it, rather. Yeah, Chrono gets life magic. I mean, I always forget he gets that magic, but I'm not mad at it. But yeah, here we go. Thank you, sweet. Speedy had his head on my, like, remote control, so I moved it, and he was just kind of, like, looking at me, so I turned my one of my mice off and put it under his head, and he's using it as a pillow now. He's like, yeah, you're right. I was using that. This game's called Chrono Trigger, cool gamer. It's, uh, for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, FS6 has amazing music, too. You Cretans, I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe forever. You'll not get in my way. Idiots. Nothing can last forever. Zeal, a pitiful woman, duped by Lavos. <clears throat> I myself will bring an end to all of this. Prophet, you are doomed. I haven't forgotten what you did at the Ocean Palace. You will now forfeit your life. Yeah, I got to get the, Ma the Magus music playing if you bring Magus to this fight. And that little extra dialogue, just a you know, little bonus. Oh, I had a good Easter. No complaints on my end. Got the guy with some family, had some dinner. Give me the last prism dress. Why are you not giving me the prism dress? You have the charm top on. Hey, Brian, welcome back. How are you? What did I just do? Oh, never mind. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, steal the Mega Elixir from the face. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I mean, I guess Magus can. Well, yeah, this thing just MP busters you or HP busters you down to one or, you know, zero MP if you hit the hands. The hands have prism dresses and a prism helm, though, so it's kind of worth stealing. Are you trying to disrobe Queen Zeal? Yeah, perv. 
There, finally, the prism dress. <clears throat> we are also playing on, like, you know, the highest speed setting. Which I didn't change it back from Gato, but like, whatever, we're fine. Little added challenge. Yeah, just because she doesn't mean... Yeah, just because she's a floating head doesn't mean she doesn't need a dress. I mean, when you're right, you're right. The dark bomb even <clears throat> do anything? No, we're on active mode. We're on active. We're on active max speed right now. I've also played this on weight mode, so like, you know. Depends on my mood. Oh, have a good night, Zan. Thanks for stopping in. Catch you next time. But yeah, now that I'm not attacking the hands, it shouldn't shouldn't be so bad. You're not really supposed to attack them, but they have good steals. Right, yeah, like if this happened IRL, like yeah, what do you even do against an enemy like this? Throwing all these magical incantations that you can't even understand at you. Let's not... Let's not do that. Hey, Samus. Thank you for the $10 super chat. Appreciate it, big time. Yeah, RIP Akira Toriyama. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Rest in peace, legend. I mean, huge Dragon Ball fan growing up. Dragon Warrior and, you know... As I'm, I'm sure you can tell, Chrono Trigger is definitely, definitely touched a lot of us. Pretty, uh, made, left an indelible mark for sure. Yeah, but on active and max speed too. Yeah, at least for sure this playthrough around you. Yeah. Yeah, where'd Melchior run off to? Yeah, when I need him the most. Hey, welcome back, Ian. Oh, Speedy's doing well, cool gamer. He's just having a cat nap, like he does. Just attack. See if we can do a crit attack, how much damage will be dealt. I mean, Confuse definitely did more damage. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. I don't have to even really worry here. I'll have to be a little more engaged for like the Lavo stuff because we haven't... This is the third time we fought this boss this playthrough. Because if you go through the Black Omen in the right order, you can do the, the dungeon three times. How dare you insects come after me? Almighty Lavos, lend me your power! There, one more black omen melting away. Hey, Juan Sebastian. Ah, we got Speedy all cuddled up next to me here. Being all snuggly. 
At last, Lavos awakens. Compared with him, you are like germs. But I shall obtain immortality. Yeah. And I think, you know, Toriyama's pupil will do... He's gonna do his... Like, I mean, it's big shoes to fill for sure, but like... Do their best. Hi, Lavos. 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 That was the Lavos song. We already blew Lavos's head off. Lavos has hole. I don't like the way you put that, Ayla. It ain't over yet. We'll get to the bottom of this lava. To yeah, we will get to the bottom of this lavos. I love how you jump in the, the hole in its head, but then you like fall down. Like I thought the hole was like on the ground floor of lavos. Did you go like in and up and then down? Hey, thank you for singing the lavos song with me. Lavos smells stronger. No turning back now, except for where that gate is for us to turn back with. All right, team. Let's do it. One Chrono Trigger game defeated. I think I'm cool with this loadout. It's fine. Save. Let's go. Release the album already. Yes, the... I mean, I got that hit signal. Lord Drip, how you doing tonight? Hey, thanks, Wafflet. Pixelworks, welcome back. 110 visits, hell yeah, Pixelworks. Thank you for coming back. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's a wood sword. It's for my Chrono costume. Kairos, this be our finest battle. I love this song. This is probably my favorite song in the game. Ayla not give up. Yeah, Ayla better not give up. Or else. Here we go, this is it. Now we first fight this form of Lavos, otherwise known as Cell. Looks kind of Cell-like. Yeah, you gotta destroy one arm in particular, I think, right here. Might be the one that Ayla's next to. Real- oh. Tailspin, yeah. Tailspin it, you're right there, Ayla. Hey, Bitrate, how about you behave now that we're fighting Lavos? This is unacceptable timing to be misbehaving. A major malfunction over here. I think we're pulling back through again. Resettling. Yeah, kind of like this music alone is sort of where I... I can't disagree. I can't agree with the criticisms of his battle music are like, this is like the best song in the game, what do you mean? I see Cell for sure. I mean, that's, uh... I mean, Toriyama had a very, uh, distinct... Uh, art style. Frog Squash. How did you drop a frog from inside Lavos's shell? That's some ingenuity there, frog. There, your body's missing now. Probably just keep spamming Frog Squash and, I mean, I guess we'll triple kick. Keep luminaring for cheap.
But yeah, such a great song. I really haven't appreciated Ayla's, like, charge-up animation, whatever that is even about. Oh, the Eclipse is on Monday? I thought the Eclipse was... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's right. Eclipse on Monday. Uh, I could. Definitely could. Burp, coffee, and Galton. I'm in a pretty good spa uh, spot to see the Eclipse. Yeah, that's next Monday, I think. Yeah, like you're saying, yeah, Monday, like you said. Oh, actually, yeah, Elixir, Chrono. Frog, I'm trying to utilize his squash technique. Oh yeah, there's definitely some crossover with Chrono and uh, Dragon Ball. Phase two, complete. Stop making Lavos noises. Inner guts of Lavos noises. It's gross. All right. This be evil. Indeed, this thing possesseth, possesseth the vitality of all living creatures. It hath harvested DNA. I love how Frog knows what DNA is. But I mean, he would know it over... Uh, like Ayla. And only to further its own evolution, and while sleeping to boot. It is too much to bear. We have been reared like animals. Our lives hath been for naught. Me no run, Ayla no run away, worse than losing. My life retaineth its meaning. Yeah, let's give Chrono our energy for his luminary. Yeah, it's like the spirit bomb. We haveth our own will. Ayla strong, Ayla and world good. You outside are not part of planet's life. This game actually does something pretty tricky. I want to say pretty tricky, but like... Because, I mean, you look at this, like, what's obviously the final boss to you? Exactly. Exactly my point. Forget if we get punished for doing hit everybody attacks, but this is the best way to find out. Well, that was fun. Ish. That was fine ish. Yeah, God mode. Uh, revive frog. I didn't. I didn't think that it shut off the defense mechanism until like both other parts were destroyed. Why did defense go? Oh yeah, never mind. Never mind. Bitch slap. Double bitch slap. Let's uh, re elixir the hero then. Which one of th those three is Lavos? The Lavos core is really the thing on the right. But, I mean, everyone and their dog would assume it's the the boss looking thing in the middle, but it's like a defense mechanism or whatever. We're kind of showing it what for, however, at the moment. Hey, thanks, Amanda.
Yeah, not knocking this song. I just like the second form of Lavo's music better. We're kind of... We're kind of obliterating Lavos right now. Like, straight assassination. Normal, like, normally I don't raffle stomp this fight like this, but this has been, like, especially... Well, I have the prism specs on Frog, too, so, like, the Frog Squash is... Really doing some heavy lifting here. I've already done, like, pushing 20k to the boss. It's a Lavos right here. Beat him with tail spin, that'd be funny. No, we already won. That was a massacre. I don't think I've ever so handily defeated Lavos like that. He didn't even get a chance to jump through time once. That was obliterated. Might have been the smoothest Lavos fight I've ever done. Yeah, that was... I mean, Frog got knocked out once, but that kind of worked for my favor. Yeah, those squashes getting 5,000 damage, like, that's... That's big. Hey, thanks, Juan. Thanks, everybody. He can actually be problematic if he goes to, like, certain time periods. Like, I think if that boss goes to 65 million BC, it has, like, this physical attack that can do gigantic damage to you. Like, I've seen it do a thousand damage. It's not common, but, like, I've seen it. And there's, like, another one, maybe the future, that's, like, a super strong magic attack. I forget. Anyway, we did it. Best run yet. It's gotta be up there. I've been looking for you, Mega. Where'd you take my daughter? Yeah, Grand Stone. Yeah, Dreamless. Yeah, spells are cool. Yeah, it actually... It creates a heroic arc. Yeah, got nuked by the alternate counterattack. Yeah, then comes back and rallies to win. Now, nah, we'll have plenty of time. Like, when we do a solo chrono run, it won't go that smoothly. Daddy, don't. I guess another thing. We have plenty of times to do that fight proper. No, Azenius, I used Marl like right at the start of the game. I used her up until I got Ayla in the party. Actually, I actually used her a bunch this playthrough, which I don't normally do. She says Mega's been a perfect gentleman, but what do you think, Chancellor? Mega's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Hey, Bitrate. Stop it. Just listen to me. We had to save the future, right? Hey, Chris Salas. Welcome to the chat. How you doing? Huh? How did all of you guys jump through time? You saved the future and gave us hope. Like from Final Fantasy XIII? I don't know yet. Fought Magus's troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Yeah, she's like, she's a good healer, I guess. Sort of. Like, if I remember right, she doesn't have, like, a heal everybody attack. Like, she can do a, do a double attack with Chrono, which is fine. I think she's universally uh, considered the worst character in the game. What's going on here? Hey, Slick DPS, how you doing? Yeah, Chrono Trigger's a goaded RPG. Yeah, seen you play in the four-player RPG. Wait, what? A couple days ago. Hey, like... Oh, Chrono Trigger's great. This is one of my all-time favorite games. I just finished it for tonight. I'm gonna do New Game Plus stuff tomorrow, though. Oh, yeah, she does have haste, which is good. Can't underestimate haste. 
Your kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsmen? You mean they're my ancestors and descendants? Here, I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving past, present, and future. Would Marl also be consented from Queen Zeal? If Ayla is her ancestor? I don't know. Like, are we to do that? Are we to assume that the Zeal line is also, like, from that same bloodline? I don't actually know, though. Like, I always figured, yeah, because, like, figured A, like, you know, that's, like, Guardia or whatever. Now, Marl, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Oh, yeah, I used to use Marl because you, like, haste and final kick so much. Yeah, but now we know, yeah, meta is 100%. Yeah, frog squash party all night, every night. I mean, have frog at 50 HP and put the prism specs on him. 5,000 damage to Lava. Come on with Mega. Come along with Mega, our hero. Princess Nadia is finally home at last. Guardia is back to normal. I mean, Antipope's not bad. The Antipope spells. Like, you gotta bear in mind, when I say Marl's like the worst character in the game, I'm not saying that she's like... You put her in your party that... Like, you're gonna die, it's just... Like, any party combination in this game is perfectly viable to get to the end, it's just... If we're min-maxing. Like, I don't think Frog, Chrono, and Ayla is, like, the best party. It's just the party, or, Frog, what'd I say? Frog, Ayla, yeah, and Chrono. It's just my favorite party to use. Frog could be interchanged with a lot of characters. He just has... You know, he has Frog Squash, and has that heal spell, which does come in handy. And he's, like, halfway competent attacker, although he's more of a mage. This is fantastic. Princess is gorgeous, don't get me wrong, of course you are, too. Yeah, unoptimized gameplay. Yeah, we beat the game, Waffle. Most frustrating game I've played? That's a good question. I've been really frustrated with Rebirth. I don't know. If that is my most frustrated. It's nice to hear, but I wish you spent more time around the house. It's a real problem when the person who's, in, person who's in charge of the cat is gone. Don't just be a sack of potatoes. Dance with me. I got the king says you save the future. Wait till I tell my friends. Yum, lemonade sure tastes great outdoors. Have a sip, you're the hero today. Wait, Marl's in the front row. When did that happen? I guess she always was. Yeah, Chrono's mom, yeah, downplaying his heroics a little bit. Yeah, shows how well made Trigger is. Yeah, any combination of team members can be viable. Yeah, totally, just a matter of preference. It's interesting, yeah, to use a party you're not comfortable with. Oh, there's no harm in that at all. Like, there's lots of replay value with having different characters, different party compositions, all of that. I just tend to stick close to my... You know, my... It's my tendencies from growing up. Not much business and weapons anymore, but I like it that way. Kitty. Are you considered one of the kitties? Cadillac. Where are those people exploding from? But I want to play prehistoric music over there. Yeah, all the pretty lights. I mean, yeah, Mori with the glitch save files was very frustrating. Game was hard enough on the head, let alone when, like, half the save files didn't work. Just because that was unintended hard on the head. For different reasons. Well, everyone, this is it. I want to see, like, an HD 2D remaster of Chrono Trigger. I don't really want, like, a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth style. I'd be happy if we got, like, either an Octopath Traveler, like, Live Alive remake, or I would prefer a Star Ocean 2 HD remaster style remake. Where they, um... 
you know, keep all the sprite work pretty much the same. It give us backgrounds that are super high def. I just, I just like the aesthetic. Each to thine time. The gate has grown weak. I can't help but feel like that would make developing the game easier, but I could be totally wrong about that. Because I figure it's more of like a copy-paste job with the original sprites. You just have to do like all the backgrounds and stuff. I say just, but like... But I don't know, they might have to do it all from scratch and it's no faster. Or cheaper. Gotta say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Well, yeah, we're not from this time. Mega was strong, Marl too. Ayla, have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. No worry. Er Ayla, very strong. Right. Yeah, Cadillac. Cadillac, Green Ambler, Steel Runner, and G.I. Jogger. Hey, what do you mean by that? Kino, dummy, we go now. I like how this time gate just happens to bring everyone back to the right times. Varian GG, welcome to the chat. I heard the DS version is recommended more than the original, is that true? There's more content in the DS version. I haven't actually played the DS version, but I did some of the dungeons. I wasn't blown away by the dungeons I did, but there's a neat Colosseum that's also in the DS version. I believe it's also retranslated, so it depends how much mid-90s JRPG translation jobs annoy you or not. DS version's worth playing if you can pick it up for, you know, easily enough. There's a feisty crowd. There are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lean awaits, your majesty. We too shall take our leave. I feel a rebirth tree may be more interesting, you know, since we'll always have the original. Mr. Frog. Long farewells and error were necessary. I just don't know if I have the heart to play Chrono Trigger and have to find, like, two pieces of driftwood to advance a setting for an NPC I don't care about. I don't know if I can do that. I get it's more of like a... more ambitious to do a, like a full-scale remake like that. Right, besides, actions speak louder than words. I'm gonna turn into a human again, you kissed me. Yeah, don't these things end with the princess kissing the frog? Frog's like, I don't know what to make of that. So you're gonna search for Shala? Head Shala. Magus is like, I'm out of here. Steam version has a lot of the same content, except it doesn't have, like, the Colosseum that's in the DS version. It's very similar outside of the... Luca, I will miss you. Are you leaking oil? Lopez 17, this game's called Chrono Trigger. It came out on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, like, aesthetically... No, if they were to remake, like, FF7 Rebirth style visually, but keep the battle system the same, I'd be happy with that. I just wouldn't expect them to go that route. She knows. Knows what? Robo was born a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo may not exist in the future. Please relax, the new future has a place for me. Darn it, Robo, don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Don't think too much about... Never mind. Tears don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. Goodbye. Ah! Caution, oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Luca, you made the robot cry. Yeah, DBZ, yeah, Japanese intro, yeah. You interacted with an NPC so much, just have to see how much voice lines they have. Yeah, it's a it's a rabbit hole to go down for sure. 
Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that the entity is finally at rest. Yeah, I feel that too. Time travel, how exhausting. We should dismantle the epoch, its job is finished. No, cats, all of the cats. I don't know why you're the wrong colors, but... Wait a second. No, actually, wait a second. Am I crazy or are there 12 cats here? Or both? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... No, I guess that's 11. 1, 2... Yeah, okay, never mind. I thought the two cats that were close to each other near the top were ten cats. Or was two cats. It was three cats, excuse me, instead of two. But yeah, they all change color for this cutscene. I forgot about that. I don't know if that's fixed in other versions or not. You naughty thing, come back here. Look, Mega, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. This always happens. No, cats! Hey, come back here. Damn it, Chrono's mom. Why now Chrono's mom should have a spin-off. The quest for Chrono's eleven cats through time. Now there's a ROM hack idea if there ever was one. Imagine killing a boss and there's a cutscene of his young life, yeah, and accepts his fate. It looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them, but the gates. Luca, don't turn off your brain yet. Forgot we have a time machine. Yeah, haha, good thing we didn't turn the epoch off. Oh, princess, the king asked for your presence. Chrono Trigger 2 could have just easily enough been like, yeah, I'm gonna find my cat. Uh, find my mom and my cat throughout time. I'm so happy, now there's no reason for you to go away anymore. Uh, this game's called Chrono Trigger. It's for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, and that's where all the cats you meet all throughout time are from. That's what I'm thinking, Brian. Always made me laugh, because I imagine Chrono saying, Finally, that bitch mom is finally out of my life. Been waiting for this day. I have a gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. She doesn't even care that I saved time and space, man. Yeah, those are his first words. This is naughty as bell. It will ring out across the land. Yeah, the search to find mom and cats. Yeah, the sequel. Marl, where'd you go? Can someone please lend me a hand? Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. There are the epoch. Away they go. Phew, made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? I love how the sunstone is just a firework for this cutscene. No tab, and I could really use some help. Hey, the fire works. Yeah, we got the cat ending. We did it. We did it, everybody. And that's how sp I came to meet my roommate, Speedy the Cat. That was one of Chrono's 11 cats. A time portal popped open. Led them right out in front of me. And it's been great friends ever since. Hey, thank you, Wafflet. But yeah, this is Chrono Trigger, one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, but we're not... I'll be done with this for tonight, but tomorrow... We're gonna play this again to do the New Game Plus stuff. Because for New Game Plus, you get to keep a lot of your uh, items and equipment. Like 99% of it. And you get to keep your levels. Uh, but you, depending on when you get... You then also unlock being able to fight the final boss whenever you want. So because of that, you get different endings. So we're going to get all the different endings. It'll take a few episodes. So if you're not subscribed already... Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that tomorrow if you want to see some Chrono Trigger New Game Plus action. I mean, I do a lot of retro JRPG stuff, so if you're into that, I'm sure you'll find a good home here. I have a lot of short videos that I do. I have some Chrono Trigger ones, just 
tips and tricks. I have Earthbound, Mario RPG, Suikoden 1 and 2, Breath of Fire 2. Lots of stuff. Yeah, pick, yeah, you had your pick of the Chrono Litter, yeah. Yeah, one of my all-time favorite games here. We'll be playing it for later in the week. Yeah, Robo got a girlfriend, yeah, in his new future. Yeah, I've just been kind of rambling doing my... I can't help myself, like, I've never been much of a, you know, like and subscribe type of guy, but with all the viewership these streams get, I feel compelled to at least say it, like, once a stream. It's like, holy cow. Thank you all for being here. Lots of, you know. It's great having such a packed house for, you know, a game that's, like, so near and dear to my heart. And I'm sure this game means as much to me as it does to a lot of you. Like, I mean, I'm wearing the outfit for the game, for crying out loud. I feel very highly about this game. Oh, yeah. Wait, well, you can fight Lavos whenever... Once you get to the end of time in a normal playthrough. In New Game Plus, you can there's a spot on the telepod uh, that you can interact with that isn't normally there in New Game Plus. This is a bit of a plot hole, what we're seeing right here. I don't know if Chrono Trigger was actually the first game to do a new game plus, but it was damn sure the one that popularized new game plus. It's a great concept. Yeah, doubted this game, you yeah, haven't watched it. Yeah, I love it now. Oh yeah, this game's great. Worth playing. Definitely a treat. Spidvan, welcome to the chat. How you doing? This game has an interesting idea about pa time paradoxes, yeah. Just don't worry, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing with the time travel... Um, ...story anyway. It's hard for there to be no plot holes. At all. Greek Poseidon. Once I get through Chrono Trigger, I'm gonna play this the rest of the week still. Uh, but once I finish it, I'm gonna go back to Final Fantasy VII, the original for PS1. And by the time I get through that, it'll probably be time to start Suikoden 1 and Suikoden 2, because Aiden Chronicles will probably be out by then. Oh, Chrono Trigger was the first game with New Game Plus. Hey, right on. Great feature. Ooh, I forget how this works on a... I forget how New Game Plus works on a... Well, I mean, if we're going to do a save state, it matters a little less. I could probably just reload this and then... Like, just reload the ROM and I can probably access New Game Plus. Let's try it. Reload ROM. I actually didn't think about that, but it's probably okay. Yeah, New Game Plus, we're there. Alright, perfect. Yeah, let's see, count second quest stuff. Yeah, with Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I suppose, and other NES games. But yeah, thanks again for joining for this episode of Chrono Trigger. So yeah, like I said, feel free to stop on by tomorrow for some Chrono Trigger New Game Plus activities. But I'm going to end the stream for now, so thanks again. Like and subscribe, all that stuff if you're interested. Either way, don't forget the lard, folks. I'll, uh, I'll catch you tomorrow for Chrono Trigger New Game Plus. So I'll uh, see you then. Where's my mouse? I put it right here. Yeah, see you tomorrow, folks, for more Chrono Trigger.